And greetings on this lovely Sunday evening from South Florida. I am Resplendent Seraph, and I'm going to be playing more East today. Uh, last time we played East, which I think was a week ago, um, we, uh, we got through a lot more of this game than I kind of thought we would. We managed to get into the Ilburn's Ruins, and I'm not going to do a complete recap, but essentially, Adol and Dogi were adventuring around. Dogi heard something, a couple of rumors about his hometown, wanted to check it out. They show up here. Dogi decides to go into the mountains to find his old master. And meanwhile, there's like this mining collapse. And of course, the villagers ask Adol for help. And that's kind of what starts us on this journey of going around Felgana, investigating the now monster-filled Tigray mine, and then Father Pierre going up to Ilburn's ruins and people asking Adol, hey, can you go up to the Ilburn's ruins? Oh, and by the way, Chester, Elena's brother that hasn't been seen around here for like six months, uh, he's been kind of hiding around those ruins too. And they're monster infested. So maybe go check it out for us, please. And so Adol does indeed. And we're investigating. And long story short, the king shows up. Well, not the king. Count. Count Maguire. The local count, who's a foreigner. Uh, he was just given a county of Felgana. And... <laughs> alludes to something about the future seat of his power. And at that point, it's like, yeah, get rid of Adol. And so Chester kicks Adol off of a ledge that then descends into this uh, very active caldera. And that's where we find ourselves now trying to get out. And at this point, we're kind of stuck down here. And now we're literally just trying to fight our way up and out. And it's uh, it's a very interesting part of the game. And by interesting, I mean, it's, it's a, it's a fairly challenging part of this game just by virtue of the fact that we're trapped here. Now in the original game, when you're trapped in this area, there's a, there's a, a herb, <clears throat> an herb rather, that rejuvenates your health completely. And it always spawns on the same spot on the cave wall. So even though you're stuck down here, you can essentially use that herb as almost like an improvised inn. Now down in Otha Felgana, there are these little statue things that rejuvenate your health when you touch them. So essentially there's that. And that makes this possible. But we can't go back to town. We can't upgrade our equipment. We can't buy more stuff. Uh, we're really stuck with what we've got down here. And therein lies the challenge. And so with that little intro spiel kind of taken care of, that's exactly where we find ourselves here with Oath of Felgana. So let's get things started here. And very specifically where we last, last left off with Oath of Felgana, we got to a part where Dularn, the wizard, she, um, she essentially, once we get a treasure chest and unlock the wind magic attack, she's going to summon this dragon to kill us. And music looks good. That's not too bright. Or not too bright, not too loud. Volume, volume levels look good. So we'll go back to this. Actually, those might be a little on the high side. Oh, we'll see. Did not mean to do that. Every so often I hit a, a wrong button and activate that. So this is where we need to go. But off stream, I decided to... There we go. Uh, I decided to kind of farm around for some XP. And so instead of being level 16, we're now level 18. But I also saw a treasure chest up this way. So I'm kind of inclined to go and grab that treasure chest. I didn't want to grab the treasure chest off stream. Because then it's like, well, what the fuck happened there? But we'll still get some XP on the way up. Right. Oh, wow. Managed to get all that. That is definitely too loud. Uh, so the question is, you know, I almost wonder, instead of messing around with that, we'll keep the voice volume that high because we do want to hear their voices. You know, let's try that. Yeah, that's still a little on the light side, but at least that's not as bad. Okay. Yeah, I would imagine before that, that would have been drowning me out. Just missed that. 
<laughs> Whoops. Well, we definitely didn't want to be hit by that attack. That would have fucked us up. The only problem with getting this treasure chest is the sheer amount of backtracking yet going back to it. World. Fine. Start here, we'll kill it. We're not gonna farm for XP, we're just killing things on the way up. Because as you can see, even though we've only gone up two levels, the amount of XP we're getting now is greatly diminished from what it was. Lucky I didn't get nailed by that. That would have hurt bad. All right, we got our first attack again. Hopefully this time Seraph doesn't hit the wrong button. And activate it by accident again. We're actually getting decent money. Not that I can spend on anything at the moment. It just turned out I ended up going sort of the right way at first. Oh, these fucking things. Hate these little douche canoes. But at least they drop health a lot. Bullshit that when they get stunned that they just stay in the air. I think if you get stunned, you have to fall to the ground and then be a much easier target for me. Although farming for XP allowed me to get better at the controls again. So it was good practice that I needed, though I'm not showing it here by missing that guy a lot. Hey, Darkstar. Yeah, yeah, attacks with real sword swings. Imagine that. <laughs> Instead of the bump system. Now those spots I gotta not get knocked down in or happen to land in all oh, that bird. You little bastard. How you doing, Darkstar? Long time no speak. <laughs> Thank you again for lending me the games. I haven't actually opened them yet, but uh, I will definitely be. Ooh, okay. I did not know anything this important was up here. I'm thinking it was just like an item. So that is fucking awesome. <laughs> We're gonna have so much easy. We're gonna have such an easier time against that fucking boss. Oh my god. Alright, so wow, what was the difference between there? Uh wow, 113 and 127. That will add up a lot. Yeah, it's been what? Like 15 minutes? <laughs> oh, and thank you. And you handled handed your own shout out. I appreciate that. <laughs> uh good shit. <clears throat> Damn it. That would have made my farming life so much easier too. I would have killed those things so much faster. Uh, whatever. I wasn't really at it for all that long. Look here, you little shit. <laughs> yeah, I'm looking forward to playing them because I had never even, um, I was, I'm not familiar with either of those games, so I am looking forward to it. Right now, the only question I have to decide here, whoops, that's a sneeze coming. That was random. Hey, Nikki, how are you? Great timing to show up right in the middle of a sneeze. <laughs> Nikki is the bestest, and she appears. <laughs> Letting my ADHD run wild. Excellent. We approve. <laughs> That's very welcome around here. We, we like our uh, attention deficit. Especially in the chat section. We get derailed, like, super easily. <clears throat> I think what helps is that I, ha I have a lot of friends IRL that definitely have some attention deficit, so uh, for me, it, it, I appreciate, I appreciate the fun ride. <laughs> I know just to, I know just to let the, the sails open and let the wind take us where it will. Every so often, my friend, uh, I mean, Freakbot jokes about his own ADHD, but um, I don't know if he has hypertension deficit disorder, but um, my friend Phoenix Nade, I don't think he minds. Um, but, uh, yeah, he definitely has some attention to some deficit issues. Um, and so, yeah, uh, I've learned to appreciate it. It's, it's definitely a plus at this point. <laughs> okay, can I hit this thing? Thank you. 
<clears throat> nope. You're not hitting me. Not this time, Armadillo. So I believe everybody pretty much has gotten there. How's everybody doing over the weekend in the other chats? Uh, but for anybody lurking that hasn't, uh, that doesn't hang out in the same kind of circles, how are you doing? <laughs> I don't know about other areas of the country, but uh, in South Florida, no, man, I thought he was going to hit me for sure. He did hit me. That's all right. He'll never do it again. Oh, I'm still at health. Okay, see, so yeah, speaking of that, oh, mine is bad, but I managed as a kid. Oh, well, it's probably undiagnosed, too. Yeah, that happens a lot. That's That can be very, very difficult on kids. Especially the school system is not very well accommodating the way it's constructed. Unfortunately. Ow. One of my uh, first girlfriend's kids, he had uh, ADHD, so I got my crash course and had a on how to, um, what to expect, so to speak. All right, so let's, yeah, we're not doing shit here, but we will save that. And let's try to die less. <laughs> I got diagnosed, oh, so you got diagnosed early, but I was never taught how to, co oh, well then, ugh. see, that's so frustrating. Like, hey, we diagnosed this kid, but we're not gonna actually do anything for her. Um, my mom was more shoving, yeah. Yeah, that's, it's, that is unfortunately not a very atypical outcome. Um, very frustrating. So one of my, one of the things I'm trying to get my PhD in is educational leadership. And uh, I'm focusing more on the higher ed realm, but I still have a number of classmates there at the K through 12 level where that's a much more pronounced issue, especially because younger kids, they don't know how to, how to deal with that. By the time I get students, They've, they've been dealing with their whole lives, so they don't necessarily need as much help from me. But, um... <laughs> I feel like 20s. I'm still using this. <laughs> oh my god, you guys are great. I love you all. Alright, let's grab the wind bracelet here. And Dulon will show up and she'll talk some shit. Like every good East villain does. Well, villainess. So, you've come. Yeah, don't let that voice... Uh, fool you. <laughs> and she's good. It would seem you've acquired two of the powers of generous. I cannot simply allow this to pass uncontested. The blazing jaws of hell itself shall consume you. I'm actually surprised I managed to beat her on like the second or third attempt when we faced her. But we will, <laughs> spoil alert, we will face her again, and the sequel fight, she does not fuck around. <laughs> yep. Let's try not to get hit by this shit. I think we're far enough ahead of it. <laughs> yep, run! Run at all! Run! All right. And now this bullshit. All right. Wow, we're doing so much more damage now. Oh my God. Yeah, don't hit me with that. Let's go in there. All right, so, so far, yeah, just a little bit better here. Okay. We put out the fire. We didn't start the fire. We didn't light it, but we tried to fight it. We didn't start the fire. Great. See what this boss has done to me? It's broken me. I'm doing karaoke on the fly. I'm probably not even good at it because I'm concentrating more on the monster instead of this shit. Whoops, I should not have done that. Wow. Well, it hit me. Bastard. Nope, come on. Oops. Yeah, you're running to that? Okay. Where's it going now? That is a long comment. I will read that in a second, Nikki. 
For very obvious reasons. <laughs> I can't take my eyes off the screen. But we'll get there. Come here, dragon. No. Bad dragon. That's not a reference I was going to make. <laughs> Alright, it's going there. Where is this fucker coming from? Alright, over here. Buy myself some time. Ah, I still jumped too high and it dumped me in there. Bastard. Get back here. Don't jump in there. Come here. Nope. Well, all right, we picked it. The first part of that I see is mom is a teacher and I'm about to go like, what the fuck? <laughs> Ow. Yeah, it's important to make that jump. Because otherwise it really hurts you. Nope, nope, get back here. Nope, there it goes. But now it's only a disembodied head. Yeah, we're kicking the shit out of it this time. Amazing what happens when we have a proper shield. <laughs> when we have a proper sword. I had no idea that fucking sword was up there. Hey! Get back here! Got it. Okay, well, beat it on the first try. Alright. So, uh, yeah, we, uh, we had a much easier time there. Okay, give me a second there. Now, all right, now. Nope, my mom was a teacher, no doubt. I was very ADD, but my mom wasn't one for having patience, so she went the medication route. I understand now my case would require medicine, but it could have also been given coping skills too. Yeah, it is what it is. It... Also, every year that, that um, <laughs> I would say we as a human species advance, we learn even more and more about spectrum disorders. So, I mean, I, it's amazing how different it is between, and I'm I'm in my 40s, I'm in my mid 40s, but remembering back into some of my friends who clearly had those issues uh, back in the 90s in high school and how many of it, how much of it went undiagnosed. And just even now when we diagnose it better, we're, uh, we're so much better with our programs now, even from like compared from like year to year. It's like, thankfully we're, we're doing a much better job, but we still have so much so much um, of a better job we could be doing for uh, for our kids that want to learn and and just have a real real struggle with it. Uh, my coping words were figuring how to deal with it on your own because doctor visits are expensive. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> yeah, thankfully that was not one of my problems, but that was um. But I think my mom's general approach to problem solving was figure it out. Or I'll beat the shit out of you until you, until it's no longer a problem, and that was uh, that was her way of motivating. <laughs> I laugh about it now, but it was a it was like a, a textbook how not to uh, be a parent. <laughs> Amazingly enough, my pain tolerance threshold really still wasn't all that good until this recent medical fiasco. You'd think it would have been pretty good though for that. My COVID, uh, oh yeah, yeah, I already read that. Ah, I still managed to get me. But up we go. And now, now that we've got the wind magic, now we can get to certain areas we couldn't get to before. Heal. Nope. Not today, Armadillo. Since I'm already here and I have to wait for those to fade. Sure. Oh, that's dirty pool. You know what? Fine. If you knock me over, you could at least give me whatever XP you're made of. <laughs> Let fire. Perfect. There we go. Much better. Nope. Zoom. Oops. Up we go. But we do have a new... Oh, that almost hit me. Oh, we got some new enemies now. These matured into larger birds. Because, you know, I needed that. Shit, I forgot these guys get bigger. Fuck. No, stop laying fire. Is it laying fire or is it defecating fire? I can't figure out which. Uh, it's just... 
Uh, it's just ADD, ADD, the depression comes first. Deal with it yourself because you plateaued on every medication you bet on, right? Oh my god. Yeah, prior to this whole nonsense, I actually couldn't take meds. I had a real, I, I really struggled with that. Imagine what excruciating pain will be uh, as far as a motivator. I get solo pills now. And those ibuprofen pills are no joke. All right, now we're back to the regular things. Now I can get over here. You can see, that's much easier. And we can now do that for the owls. Oh, when I don't completely run out of magic anyway. But yeah, the owls on the surface will be much more manageable now. Now is this where, yeah, these are where these little bastards are. We gain a lot of XP off them. Wow, that guy's still alive? I wonder these things were killing me uh, before. That was very ambitious of me to try to get these guys. I love the music of this area, though. It's it's such a great OST. Here, you little bastards. Come on. Come on, swarm me. Come on, more. Get over here. Yep, that's right. I'm here. Alright, there we go. Talk all that shit, and it's still... Oh, you little bastard. <laughs> you. I appreciate your buffs. All right, I've had enough of you. Goodbye. Now we headed back over here, if I remember correctly. Yep. Hit it too late. You. Okay. Where are you, little bastard? Really? You're not gonna. Right. Fine. I don't want to... I didn't even want to take a chance with that. Not taking chances. <laughs> and of course, if we fall, we really uh, end up getting sidetracked because we have to go all the way back there um, to the left part. And we'd have to work our way back. Which is like... Bullshit. You. Fire still managed to hit me. Uh, I don't think I can get to that one. Nope. Ow. Nope, I can't get up there. I need the double jump to get up there. And I don't remember if we get the double jump here. We might get the double jump here. All right, we're starting to close in on this. I almost want to go back through there and at least get one more level. What is this? Brocious Serum. What does that do? Oh, you know what? I also got a... I also got something else that I should be using. <laughs> Kettle Elixir. It raises max HP permanently. I just forgot to use it. Yeah, um, nice job, Davis. Energy supplement made from the group, uh, fruit of a sacred tree grants the ability to dash. Here we go. Drank the faintly shimmering water from the bottle. And now we can dash. There we go. All right. So now we have dash. So 
essentially what that looks like. So if we just walk and then double tap, we can I can make my way across some pretty good terrain here. So it's not the double jump it gives us yet. We're gonna have to come back here when I eventually do get the double jump. Okay, let's save. Let's save. Actually, how much XP were those things giving me? Maybe I'll go back really quick because that's going to be an awful boss. Since for the other issue right now, learn to dash by drinking liquid meth. <laughs> right? <laughs> Probably not a very efficient use of my time. Probably want to go back to where I found all those horde of like things. That was actually probably where I was getting a little bit better XP, right? I want to try to level up here. You know what? Maybe I'll just try to get through this next boss. But this next one's really a real challenge. Uh, let's see, we're just before the one. Now we're, oh yeah, we're moving right along. Okay, let's just do this a couple of times. We'll, we'll do this, we'll gain a level. Yeah, that's, that's a good plan. Come here, guys. Over here. Yep, that's right. Oh, come towards me. Let's do this quick. Oh, you little bastard. Thank you. Yeah, that was a good plan. Good plan, Seraph. I don't have to do this, you know, a lot. But just that amount. That will probably be, um, I think I'm going to be glad I did that. Okay, so, uh, what's the over-under on how much the next boss, who I'll spot you is a literal fucking dragon, how many times that's going to kill Seraph before I eventually kill it? Boy, do I remember this. Shit, 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 shit. Actually, I need to be over there. You were gonna jump me up. Nope. Off the bridge. Okay. That was the good blast. This is the bad, bad one. <laughs> there we go. And got it in his face that time. Yep, nope. Go, go, go. Down, down that. Ow, ow. That was stupid. Got my ass kicked. That's the one where I wanted to be on the bridge, damn it. Alright. Nope, nope, nope. Right, fireball. Come on, buddy. Ow! Okay, there, that's one down. <laughs> that's one down! <laughs> oh, ow! Fireball me right off the bat. I just stood there and took it. Ow! Did it again. Oh my goodness gracious. <laughs> nope. Here. That was the safe spot for that. 
Nope, nope, nope. Get off the bridge, get off the bridge. Ow. At least there's a safe spot. Sort of, from that. Oh, goodness gracious. I am getting my ass beat. Oh god, that, that fire thing, dude. That, that he gets you from there. Hate this thing. Oh no 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 no! Wow! Right, I needed to sprint. Right, I forgot. I could dash now. I needed dash. Ow! Oh my God, Sarah! Can you try not to get hit by that fire every single time? Get off the bridge, get off the bridge. Ow. Ah, damn. Nope. Just in time. Recharge. Oh my god, I'm not even getting it down halfway. Ow. I may still need to farm another level. <laughs> I can't remember this, but I now I really remember this. <laughs> oh god, this thing's brutal. Fuck, this thing beats the shit out of me. But I also suspect I'm too low level for it. Ah, oh, need to get off the bridge for that. Sometimes it's also the bad pattern too. Like, that's the fireball you want, because it lifts you up, and it can actually help you hit him. Nope, nope, that's the one I don't want. And it still managed to hit me, because I didn't get off the bridge fast enough. I didn't... Nope, that's the one I want. Alright, uh, first you're too high. Damn it. Oh, really? You register after? That sucked. Wait. This is in the wrong place. The actual fireball hit me. Nope, get off the bridge, get off the bridge, get off the bridge. Okay. Let's level up one more time. Definitely need a level. Definitely too low for that. I'm just not doing enough damage to him. I mean, some of that pattern I'm, uh, I'm not even taking damage on, but I just don't do enough damage to him. Let's do that, but we'll also run back here. Go to the better. Damn it. You know what? This works. That's the only problem. The only downside of this game is it makes you do this shit. I feel like I was doing a pr fairly decent job at that, too. I just, um,. That's actually one of the reasons why I'm like, yeah, I think it, I think it is time to just farm one more level. It's like, man, if I was, I feel like if I was doing kind of all right, but still, uh, still not even get halfway down. Come on. It's like if you're doing an okay job and you're not even getting it halfway to its HP, you're, you're not high enough level. 
That's a. Here we go. There we go. Yeah, you guys. Things are good. Let's see, good for XP. We got that little safe spot in there where we can. Um, I have to do this for a couple of minutes. All right, I'm not wasting my time with just that one. Back out. Just heal real fast. Oh, I'm got seven. Yeah. So this part gets a little tedious. Only because the bosses are like back to back, and I guess the game assumes you're going to be more lost than uh, than I got. <laughs> I kind of went right to the right spot. I don't know, maybe there aren't. Thought this would be a good spot for XP just because of um, how many there are, but maybe I'm wrong. Yeah, we're really not great getting a whole lot of XP here, are we? I mean, I might as well just go back over there. Mm. Oh, so lame. Of course, I could just set it to automatically dash. That way I don't have to worry about it. Maybe I should do that. Yeah, I'm thinking. Enough of you. Yeah, you guys don't really give me a whole lot. I thought it would just because there are so many of them, but actually not really. Yeah, I'm better off going to the other place. All right. Well, lesson learned. It didn't take all that much to get here. <laughs> Muscle memory kicked in with the dash. I hit the double jump and I'm like, don't have it yet. <laughs> you know what? Let's do it. Slightly. But let's also always dash once a Yep. That'll make my life easier. At least against that dragon while I get used to it. Nice part. They're all like right here in a cluster. Or you know, if I could go back to town or buy a better weapon or do anything else to upgrade my uh, my attack power. Yeah, the XP rate being uh, boosted helps. That's the XP rate one. Oh no, that's the strength one. Yep, that's the strength. It is nice that, especially when you're trying to do this grindy bullshit. I guess it's my fault. What I should have done is grinded more off stream. I only grinded for two levels. <laughs> I should have grinded for more. Well, if I'm at a spot playing this again, that's what I'll do. I'll just grind more. Grind excessively. That way I don't need to worry about this. This is kind of boring. But oh, Bell. All that talk about public subs and uh, all those other cool places to eat, though, definitely has me like, damn. <laughs> Especially the thing you were talking about, Darkstar. Um, 
Where did you find that? Uh, God, now I'm trying to remember what it was. That completely bonkers, uh, not red velvet chocolate chip, but strawberry chocolate chip, ice cream sandwich. Money. Big money. Take these two. Yo. Yeah, I'm kind of glad I set it to just run automatically. I don't think I did that the first time. I may just do that depending on the area. I definitely don't want to be doing that at Mount Seco. I need as much troll as possible there. Which ends up not even being a freaking mountain in this game. It ends up being more of a cave. I'm not looking forward to that. And even with all this, that dragon is still going to kill me a whole bunch of times. But yeah, clearly, I didn't stand a chance against the dragon before. Uh, thank you. How many of these am I going to have to do? You and give me you give me you. Man, that XP marker isn't really moving a whole lot, is it? Unless I was doing something wrong with the dragon, but I don't think so. It is moving. God, I'm gonna have to do this like ten different times, ten more times. At this point, learning Lethal Company sounded pretty nice. <laughs> Thank you. We're almost. Another couple of minutes and we'll be well of his done. Really not that big a deal. It's just repetitive in the extreme. I was one hit shy of just killing that guy there. On the one hand, I'm getting much more efficient at killing these fuckers. Yeah, I mean, imagine that. You practice and you get better at things. One of the reasons why I see Maxi practicing in Overwatch so often. It is fun to just to watch him practice, even when he's just uh, in that like shooting gallery thing. I do enjoy that. My little bastards. Good. All right, we're done with that for now. We're definitely not doing that again. Let's just hope. Seraph doesn't completely suck at this. Try and beat this thing. Although, who knows, maybe having the dash on all the time also will help make my life easier. I won't have to lose any time with the... Um, with double tapping it. And I know it's not vulnerable to uh, fire. I remember trying that. It doesn't do anything. All right. I should have saved it. Fuck. save it. Why did I not save it? And run this way. Now he goes over that way. Come on, buddy. Nope. Nope. 
swing. You know what? Having that double jump definitely made life a lot easier. Or, um, always dashing. Ah! Mistimed it. It's time to jump there. All that. Yep. But now he does a lot less damage to me. Nope. This way. Run over the other side. Okay. Come on, buddy. You're not going to be the good one. Ah, it's time to jump. I'll still be able to hit him, but... It's time to jump again. Oh, sorry. There we go. Gotta recharge my wind magic here. On the other side. That. Amazing what happens when you actually dodge things properly. Alright, well, I still nicked him on that last. Finally doing it right. Ah, just jump. Yeah, he's gonna do that shit. Okay. Still managed to dodge it. Hey, Adol, try to block the fireball with your head. Fuck, 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 fuck. We got this. Nope, he's gonna do this charge. We got him. Oh, that's so cheap. We had you. One more hit, he's dead, though. Come on, asshole. Jump. Oh, I missed him. Fuck. All right. Amazing what a difference one level makes. And also not fucking up, but... Yeah, if you're too low level, you just, you just don't do enough damage to them. We got our sunset statue. Now we can get the hell out of here. We're also going to turn off the once dash. Always dash once able. Actually, let's... Let's save. <laughs> we definitely want to save that. Because we don't want to do that fucking again. <laughs> oh my goodness. See, now that is the part where, um, if I had a sound alert for... Oops, that's where the magic... Uh, that's where the always dash was. Yeah! We killed it! That would be appropriate. Oh my goodness. That actually wasn't so bad. It only killed me... Four times? I think it only killed me four times. Mostly because I decided not to let it kill me over and over again when I was underleveled. But that wasn't too bad. All right. That was one of the worst, in, in, at least from what I remember, that's one of the worst bosses for a while. We're still gonna, every boss in this game is a little crazy, but, um, but that one was a little more crazy than normal. Now we work our way back up. And now we're back in the normal part of the Ilburn's Ruins here. He would have totally knocked me right back down that whole fucking ravine, that little bastard. <laughs> okay. Um. Am I crazy? That only seemed like one way up, right?
Wait, what? Hey. Am I crazy? Alright, we're back up at the Elburn's Ruins. We go up the stairs. Did I totally miss something? It's not the way down. Uh, way over this way? Oh. oh, we were supposed to fall down this. Okay. Never mind. Okay, now I understand that works. Hmm. That was faster than I'd anticipated. Chester was waiting for me? <laughs> I had every confidence you'd make it back alive. Interesting, it's still doing that weird audio thing. And it never used to do that at all. I wonder what's causing that. And with the statue, no less. I must admit, I'm impressed. I'm gonna have to look at my configuration, see what I may have done differently. It doesn't happen often, but it's annoying. Now, hand them over, both of them. <laughs> Don't play dumb with me either. I know you're the one who defeated that creature in the quarry. Who, me? Chester, don't! Elena? Dogie? You shouldn't be here. Why have you come? Sister Nell told us that Adol had come here to look for Father Pierre. Dogie had just returned and was going to follow him, so I came too. Ugh. No end of trouble, I swear. So this game is clearly not made for like the freak bots of the world. It's like, oh, plot. <laughs> uh, but back in the early, like back in the late 80s, early 90s, games did not have plot like this. And even though Ultha Felgana expands upon or expands upon the plot of East 3, like I would say 90% of the plot of this game was in the original TurboGrafx version. Freezing my ass off climbing the Elder Mountains with monsters all around me and no equipment worth a damn. <laughs> so I go back to town to regroup and try again. And what do I hear? The mayor's been hurt and Adol's off the ruins. And Chester, <laughs> you've been missing for six months? What the hell, man? Chester. I don't mind that you've become one of Count McGuire's knights. No matter what people say you've done, you're still my brother. If you're truly following your heart, I would never stand in your way. But why? Why are you doing this? Why would you kidnap a priest or try to hurt Adol? And uh, how come you never contacted me, even just to let me know you were still alive? Hmm. Are you done? I left town because I found the menial existence offered me there to be utterly repugnant. You dick! <laughs> I wasn't thrilled at the prospect of babysitting you for the rest of my life either, Elena. That's fucked up. What? I thought that if I became one of Maguire's knights, I could move up in the world and make something of myself, as opposed to living a peasant's existence in some backwater town. Biding my time until I die of boredom. It was all dragging me down, Elena. Living life in a place where nothing matters is the height of tedium. Not just one element of it either, but every part of every day. You, the town, my past, everything, all meaningless. What? What are you saying? Chester, you son of a bitch! What the hell is wrong with you? I could ask the same thing. You have no right to feel indignant, Dogi. I simply chose the same path in life as you. Or have you conveniently forgotten that you abandoned Redmont on a whim eight years ago? I... Ugh. None of us are children anymore. Keep your statues for now. I'm sure they'll be safest in your care. 
surely he's not looking at the math and going, well, three against one and one's my sister. Violence is probably not my best option here. As I said, I became one of Count McGuire's knights to rid myself of my past. That includes you, dude. You are no longer a part of my life. Damn, that's cold. I suggest you forget about me and move along. Get in my way and you'll be very, very sorry. I still can't believe what happened at the ruins. I just... I mean, what can Chester possibly be thinking? Mayor, I hate to say this, but we have larger concerns at the moment. The closure of the quarry is bad enough, but to threaten a priest on top of it all... Chester's a factor, yes, but I think our first priority should be McGuire. He is indisputably the root of our problems. Until he's fucking right. Yes. You're right, of course, Bishop Nicholas. Do you have any inkling as to what Count McGuire may be after? I'm afraid not. But then, he's never been one to talk openly about his affairs. His wife and their two children attend morning mass without him, always. I do find it hard to believe, though, that he'd try and claim authority beyond that of the church. What would you suggest we do about Father Pierre, then? As head of the Falgana Diocese, it is my duty to oversee the well-being of all members of the clergy. When I return to the castle, I intend to have a talk with the Count. Fear not. I should be able to secure Father Pierre's release. Much obliged on that. I'll leave Father Pierre to you, then. Thank you. I must say, though, I am a bit concerned about these statues Count McGuire has Chester searching for. May we see the two you've found thus far, Adol? Adol produced the statues from his pack. Interesting. And very unique. So, the big critters were guarding these? Hmm. And they were big critters, too. I sense an unusual power from within them. It's possible there may be a link between these statues and the recent monster appearances. What? How do you figure? Well, this is pure conjecture on my part, but these two come from the quarry and the ruins, both of which seem to be hotbeds for monster activity as of late. And each was guarded by a large creature of unusual strength. Does that not strike you as more than mere coincidence? Hmm. You may be right. And if that's the case, we'd be especially foolish to let the Count get his hands on them. I think we should safeguard them until we know exactly what's happening. What's wrong, Dewey? Oh, nothing. I just get the feeling I've seen these statues somewhere before. B what? Come on, out with it, Dewey. I'm thinking, I I'm thinking. It's not like this was just yesterday. It was down inside the old abandoned mine, if I recall correctly. There was a mural painted on the wall. Abandoned mine? It's an old, deep section of the Tigray Quarry that we exhausted long ago. Been closed off ever since. We found a really ornate mural painted on one of the walls there. Can't even imagine how old it was. But if memory serves, it depicted four statues that looked an awful lot like the ones we've got here. Could there really be a connection? Hmm. Well, it certainly warrants an investigation. All right! Hey, Adol, what say we split our efforts? I think I have an idea. I'll get my stuff together and return to the Elder Mountains while you head to the abandoned mine. Ah, you intend to see Berhart? Yeah, the old master. He knows more about Felgana's legends and folklore than anyone else, so he can probably fill in some of the blanks. Plus, he might know something about Chester's situation. He was Chester's master too, after all. He might have some idea why that idiot's been acting like such a jackass. <laughs> I love how Dogie doesn't mince words at all. I'll speak with Chester directly at the castle. He may be more likely to grant Father Pierre's release than McGuire. 
I'll also see if I can learn anything pertinent about the statues while I'm there. Sounds like a plan. Hope you can talk your way through that thick skull of his. Adult, I'll catch you later. Good luck in the abandoned mine. Don't get yourself killed without me, you got it? If you have a chance, too, be sure to check in on Elena. I feel so bad for her. Poor kid. Let's make sure we get this all sorted out, for her sake. All right, Adol. The entrance to the abandoned mine is next to the quarry storehouse, at the bottom of that first vertical shaft. Yeah, the one door we couldn't open. I'll go on ahead and get the door open, since the lock's kind of tricky. Get your stuff together and meet me there, okay? Are you sure that's wise, Dewey? Now, in the original Turbo Graphics game, the abandoned mine was definitely the difficulty spike area of that game. Monsters aside, remember the quarry's off limits right now. If McGuire's men catch you there, it won't be a problem. I'll bring Paul and Ricardo for manpower, and we'll be in and out before anyone's the wiser. Got it at all? Don't keep us waiting. You know where we'll be, so hurry up. And it's been a little while since I played this game. I don't remember how bad the abandoned quarry is. Thoroughly as you need it to be no easy task. It's not much, but please take this and use it to temper your equipment. You'll need every advantage you can get. Well, I will take the Ravalor. Thank you. Be careful down there. Don't take unnecessary risks. And now all I can think of is Dark Stars. It's dangerous to go alone. Take this, Ego Raptor freaking uh, rap. Or would no? Was that was it you that sent me that, or was that Maxi? Maybe it was Maxi that sent uh, the Ego Raptor rap. Now I'm now I'm failing to remember exactly who was joking about it. I think it was you, Dark Star, though. Uh, <laughs> it's dangerous to go alone. Take this. <laughs> oh my God. I knew it was Ego Raptor as soon as it started. I recognized that. No, no, anywhere. Uh, all right, well, Elena's not home. So let's find this dude. But, um, that side quest is important. I think there's a limited time to do this. Yeah, let's sell Ravalor. Yes. Here's our 500 gold. If you get any more spell Ravalor in the future, you know where I'll be. What do you say? I think I have it. Yes. 2,500 gold. There, there's something else. You know where I'll be. How about 200 hunks? I don't think I've got 200. How much Ravalor do I have? Does it tell me? Yeah, I've got 30 now. Much less, but that's fine. But I do remember there being a limit to how much I can... Um... Come on, Hugo, hurry up. Remember, you're... Oh, God. Playing house. My job to take care of them. Right, so, yep. No issue here. All right, took care of those. Let's go over here, though, and see what might be on sale. Any better equipment? Since the monster showing up, uh, started showing up, nobody comes here any, anymore. What's well, supply and demand at the moment? It's oblivious to the danger one, too. I wish you'd show some semblance of concern. Welcome. All right. Oh, yeah, I'm not anywhere near that, but I could at least buy better armor. Wow. It's not really all that great but it's at least better than what I've got. Really? Yeah, I'm definitely gonna need to save up some money for this That's stuff. That's the one, thank you. Don't Let's be a stranger. at least do that. Yep, all right, better, better that at least before we start going to the mine and getting our ass kicked in there. What do you got for me? Get any of his tempered? Oh, it costs 30. All right, this the one? fine. Good to go. Yep. Come again. Cool. At least we'll do a little bit more damage. Uh, actually, let's... I think every so often you get something. Fuck these guys. Went to the castle to sign up for service. White knight there turned me away the gate. Little pawns had a hell of an attitude. Thought it was to catch me out or something. Uh... But... Before he showed up, some other soldier boy kept trying to shoo me away. Couldn't handle me alone, huh? Told him where the ghosts go. Then I left. I may not look like it, but I actually worked as a mercenary in Garmin before I came here. 
You know, you seem like you've been around your fair share of the world, ter uh, world too. Am I right? All over Europe, then. Uh, no matter how overwhelming the man, you won. Period. Here he calls this place his home. Uh, he's talking about the old master in the mountains, uh, which is part of why I came. Been keeping an eye out for him, but no luck so far. His name is uh, tip of my tongue, Baragard, Barowitz. It's Bear or something. Bear, it's cold in here. Ha! What was I saying again? But anyway, yeah, Dogie's master is uh, pretty serious. Uh, pretty serious warrior. Definitely gonna be. Oh, well, let's talk to you before. Talk. Hey, I'd only heard you were in the dark depths of the old abandoned mine. You certainly are a crazy bunch. Just keep taking one quest after another. That's right. I mean, the quarry is a monster-infested thing to begin with, but the abandoned mine has been untouched by human hands for many, many years. Don't let your guard down. Right. To the Tigre quarry, we go again. Adult, please wait. Yeah, I was looking for you. Couldn't find you. <sighs> Thank goodness I, I caught you. I wanted to apologize. For what Chester did, I mean. I know it's little comfort, but he's my brother, and I felt I should give you something as an apology on his behalf. That's right, Ghosty. Good old RPG menu noises. <laughs> How you doing, buddy? Ah, uh, yes. It's a family heirloom of sorts. Adoptive family heirloom, anyway. Full of spiritual energy. Supposedly, if you envision one of the old travel monuments while stroking its feathers, you'll be sent right there. Think of it as a very useful good luck charm. And fast travel. <laughs> as for me, I'll be all right. I've been contemplating all the horrible things my brother's been doing, and I know I should be angry with them, and I am. Don't get me wrong. But no matter what, he's still my brother. I'll always love him just the same. He's the only true family I have. So, like I said, I'll be all right. I don't know if I got through to him or not. I just know that I want all this to stop. He's putting himself and everyone else in such danger. Oh, Adol, if you see my brother again on your travels, would you please tell him something for me? Don't go out of your way to find him, of course. I just mean, if you cross paths again. When you finally get those better, yeah, absolutely. When you finally get those better armors and weapons. And of course we were down in the pits of the caldera, so we couldn't even go back to town and spend the money that we got. <laughs> it was, it was uh, pretty crazy. But I knew that going in, so that's why I went back to town that one time to rearm and then went back in. Cause I kind of knew going in that was, that was going to be a problem. Uh, just got done cooking. Ah, nice. Excellent. Tell him I said, thank you for the pendant. Adol silently nodded his consent. I appreciate it, Adol. Ugh. I'm such a mess. Crying doesn't help anything. You're headed to the abandoned mine, right? Please, be extra careful. For me, okay? Yeah, right? A definite upgrade from the last game. Now granted, <clears throat> this is not entirely this game. This is a remake of this game. So this game came out in 91, whereas East Book 1 and 2 came out in 90. Uh, and the re-release of this, I think, came out in like 2006 or 2007, something like that. So, but yeah, definitely an upgrade and definitely better voice acting than the likes of, say, like, Last Alert. <laughs> How you doing, Rob? Greetings again. <clears throat> So yeah, we'll save for sure. But now if I go over here and activate the wing, I can now go to any fast travel point that I've been to. Like I've touched that, the base of that mountain. I went here, that I haven't gone to, but it lets me do that. So I could also just automatically go to the depths or I could go to the storehouse. I mean, I'm not gonna use that right now, but it's nice to have fast travel unlocked. you hit me? Oh, that little bastard hit me. But the monsters out here are now tougher. And I do like as you get better equipment, Adol actually looks different. I 
Give me five gold. I'll take the five gold. <laughs> I'm killing the flower, Wolfie. And that baseline is things. Oh, wow, all right. I forgot. I've upgraded since I've been here last. Oh, but now we can go to some new areas. Let's actually do that. Although we don't have the double jump yet, we do need that. We're also going to need another item at some point. But yeah, we can't even get up there until we get the double jump. That's sad. Yeah, pretty much we're just curb stomping this thing, these things now. All right. Uh, this way? This is where we fought Dularn the first time. All right, that's where we got the magic of fire. I do want to go this way though real quick especially now that we can jump across that one crevice i don't remember if there's anything really good there but it's not all that far it's like pretty much right over here big money i like money <laughs> oh my god we're doing like 100 100 points of damage to these bastards What is this? Acquired Bob's Pendant. Okay. Right. I know what that is. Back out. Back out we go. This is fun just to just... Boom. Boom. Out. Out. Nope. Up we go. Man, it's a big mine. Uh, not more bees, although these bees really don't. Oh, I missed the gold there. And I picked up that. I figure I'm gonna have to do like a sound effect of Nicolas Cage, not the bees. Only because it seems like that seems to be a recurring theme. Where bees tend to be the bane of my fucking existence. Both in games and in real life. I can't believe I had, like, all those bees trying to get inside, although that was Cleo's fault. Speaking of which, where is my illustrious co host? Too quiet. What kind of trouble is she getting into? Or is she sleeping? Hmm. <laughs> and this is with the upgraded sword. Oh, I thought he thought he managed to get far enough away from it. That's okay. But I think Falcom used this game, uh, this engine for um, its Trails in the Sky series. I'm trying to remember what the first game they used it on. E6 might have been the first game that they used this particular engine on. At all, Ada's been through a lot. So please try to look past her gruff attitude. She's a really nice person. She really silly. I was probably supposed to come in here first and know that rather than getting the pendant and going, oh, this is... In. But anyway. He was killed in a quarry accident shortly before you arrived. A bridge collapsed beneath his feet. He was still just an apprentice when it happened. All the other miners spent weeks looking for him, but no one ever found any trace. Not even any of his equipment. 
Now, she was the one that basically gave us the really um, cold shoulder when we first were talking to everybody. I've tried everything to cheer her up, but she's inconsolable. I think it's partially because Bob's parents were killed in a quarry accident too. Kate has been like a mother to Bob ever since, and then the same thing just happens again? Life could be so unfair. They probably wouldn't have hit her so hard either if they'd found a body or even just one of his belongings. Oh, the, the, the pendant. May I see it? Oh, it is, it really is. Bob, I'm certain of it. This was my grandson's pendant. Adol gave Bob's pendant to Ida. Thank you. You really searched for this just for me? I'm... I'm so sorry for my earlier behavior. Seeing a young man like you brought up a lot of painful memories. It just hurt so much. I didn't want to know you, because then, if you got killed too... Well, at any rate, I do beg your forgiveness. You're an adventurer, are you not? Please, allow me to give you something as a token of my thanks. Nightfire gem, huh? Oh, we need that. Oh, shit. I'm so glad we did this. I got that from one of the Genos Island natives back when I was just a girl. It can bring light to the very darkest of places. That it can. That and it can. just light, but truth as well. It's said that anything exposed to it will reveal its true form. Right. I have no need for its powers, though. Bob's pendant is far more precious to me, but you, you could use it, no? Okay, so... Yes, we're equipping that. We're going back to the Tigre Quarry. Actually... Yeah, let's go to the depths. Let's just warp there. I completely forgot what that was and how important it was. Look, wow, really? Eat a dick. <laughs> So lame, go away. Man, that wind magic is so good for flying assholes. Okay, now where was the... Look at that. Am I wrong? To reveal any object's true nature. I thought this was for this, but it obviously isn't. Unless I'm missing something. I don't think I'm missing anything, though. Um, Alright. I guess I need something else for that treasure chest. But fine. You. That crossing a little easier. That actually does do damage to them, too. Yeah. You guys don't even give me any good XP anymore. Oh. This guy go first. At least that stuff we can now get. What is this? Oh, good Raveler. I like that. No, only eight? Really? That's it? That was, um, that was not worth that. Whatever. <laughs> Here we go. I probably could have warped to it, but...
There's really not that far. The Tigre Quarry, this wing of it, isn't really all that big. <laughs> Alright, well, we'll take money. Goodbye. I think this is where I want to go. Yep. Count's planning something, and whatever it is, it's clearly not for our benefit in any way. So don't think of this as your journey alone at all. We're in this together, and we'll help you any way we can, except, you know, any way that really matters by helping to kill monsters. Unfortunately, I think this is as far as we can accompany you, at least for the moment. It's much darker than we expected in there, and the monsters are more ferocious than any of the others we've seen. Yeah, they're no joke. If you could find anything to help light your way, it'd probably make your job a whole lot easier. Yeah, as it uh, so happens, we had to run away here to keep the monsters from getting us. I thought my butter-loving heart was going to explode. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, Paul. Never change, Paul. Are you sure you used up my quota of courage for this life? Now I have none left. I'm hungry and scared. Oh, my God. Where have you been, Adol? We've been waiting for you. As you can see, this is the entrance to the abandoned mine. That mural is somewhere inside. From what my old man used to tell me, they also found a really strange rocky mound down there at the bottom. I asked him if I could have just been a huge chunk, if it could have just been a huge chunk of gravel. He said no. It's apparently green and crystalline. And in the original fucking game, that legitimately might be the hardest boss in the fucking game. No clue what that could be. Doesn't sound like anything I've ever seen, to be honest. What's more, it apparently pulsed rhythmically like a human heart, and it was so hard it couldn't even be chipped. I swear the old man's going senile sometimes, but he seemed pretty serious about this, so I'm betting it's real. Whatever it is or was, it might be in some way related to those statues. Huh, yeah, it is. So I figured it was worth mentioning. Well, at least they do mention it. Yeah. The music alone tells you this shit is about to get fucking real. Let me get some water real quick. I will be right back. I'm just going to reload it some water. I'll just be right up back upstairs. And we're back. All right. Oh, fuck. Okay. So I want to say that sword we could buy when we have like 10,000 gold or something. Ow. Fucking slimes. Unfortunately, I do kind of remember, whoops, that I missed. 
when you come at him from a pretty good height, you can uh, usually get a pretty good lick on him. Yeah, the cave, if I didn't have this on, let me go back out and show you what this cave looks like without that uh, accessory that we managed to pick up thanks to Grandma Ida. That just occurred to me. <laughs> Ah, this part isn't so bad, but, uh, yeah, the deeper in you go, it's actually not terrible. Maybe it's deeper that it gets even darker. Let's see. Oh, yeah, you can, but you can tell the difference in luminosity. I mean, it's still dark, but this is definitely brighter. And yeah, now we can pretty much see the whole cavern. But it's not impassable if you don't get this. But this definitely makes life a little easier. Nope. Not today, slime. Yeah, most of the time, slimes are early level things, not geese. Fucking slimes are strong. Ah. Nice job, Seraph. It's gonna hit me. Damn it. Yep. I could kind of see it, and I'm like, mm, maybe I could jump out of it. Couldn't jump out of it, but I tried. Just missed. Not a big deal, but... Alright, you can already see we can go under this bridge, somehow. In the original, this was really tricky. It was really hard to see that you could get under the bridge. So it's nice that this version, they made it uh, a little more obvious. When I eventually play the Turbo Graphics version, you'll be like, you guys will see. Wasn't going anywhere near that. Okay. Here's our mural. Take a look. I speak to thee of a being who came from beyond the sea and defiled this land. We must pray for its erasure from this world so that future generations may know true peace. With vortices of purest malice, it twists the living into monsters most vile and deranged. Its inhuman powers are enough to subjugate even the lords of the spirit world. Indeed, the mightiest of them turn to dust in its wake, leaving Felgana to rot. Truly, it is a devil. For no hand of man could wreak such despair. Its name, Galvalan. I am Genos. I am a warrior from the West, brought here through divine providence. I sought to sever the devil's grasp on this land. But my sword could only divide it and seal it within the holy treasures. Yet even now, the machinations of the wicked threaten to reunify those heinous remnants. Swordsman, thou art to be my successor. I grant thee a measure of my strength. 
Mission Tablet. I grant thee a fraction of my power, the ability to do side quests. Adol's body began overflowing with a newfound strength. But I think this is the double jump. Adol gained the double jump ability. Yep. Yeah, that will definitely help us get to some new spaces here. The treasures number four in total. Two lie herein. One lies amidst hellish brimstone, and the last sits high atop a mountain. Well, we already got one out of the Tigre quarry. Thou must make haste, swordsman. The resurrection is nigh. Suddenly, Adol's surroundings became deathly quiet, and the mysterious voice could be heard no longer. Yeah, double jump is so a game changer in this game. Oh my god. But yeah, we need to get that other fucking statue for sure. But one thing I do want to do. Before I delve deeper into this thing. For the most part, if I double jump and dive down at things. Well, when I do it with the correct aim, <laughs> I will usually stun things. Wow, I'm really out of, well, I mean, I don't want to play the game. That is not what I wanted to do. Problem is on my controller, there is a button that's mapped to the exact same thing that the um, that the boost is. So if I move my finger just the wrong way, it activates the boost. Now sometimes I can use that to my advantage because if I want to activate boost, I just move my finger a little. But it also is really easy to accidentally hit that. Well, that was convenient actually. I wasn't trying to level up here, but um, it is nice to do when we're not explicitly doing it. I'm just backtracking because I know there's an area not all that far away. That would be nice to get. But it doesn't always, but it usually does. Yeah. Plus this gives me good practice hitting these guys. There we go, that's what I'm talking about. Fuck yeah. Back out we go. We're just gonna go back to the main chamber. It's not very far. Yeah, these guys already left. Actually. Let's save. Since we did get the double jump. Double jump is here that I was thinking of, right? Yep. This was the area we couldn't get to. Now, what the hell was up here? Oh, it's probably just gold. Yeah, it's gold. But you know what? We like gold. That actually got us well on our way to, um... Yeah, we'll get there. Good, good, good. All right, back. Oh. You really can't hit me anyway. We'll be able to find one of those deep in the uh, mine. So now let's go back into this mine. And we'll start to explore that lower area. Now that we know there's a stat, like for sure there's another statue in there. I mean, we went there looking for the mural, but the mural told us uh, that there were four statues. Now we, the players, knew there were four statues thanks to Count McGuire and Chester through that little bit of exposition. But now, Adol knows there are four. 
And so we got the one that was already in Brimstone. That was under the control of the dragon. We needed that to get out. Got that one. Two are in the quarry. We already got one of the ones in the quarry. There means there's one more somewhere in this quarry. So we're going to go find that one. And one atop a mountain. Well, there's Mount Seco. So that pretty much rules that out. And now that we have the double jump, we could actually go to Mount Seco. You know what? I might even do that. <clears throat> like legitimately, I might just go to Mount Seco just to start it and fight a couple enemies that are kind of nearby. They'll be good for gold because they'll be have next level gold and XP. It might be worth it to do. Especially for just close enough. We just need money and a little XP. That might be the place to do it. But we won't delve deep into there. No worthless currency. <laughs> right? <laughs> God, just money. I wish I could remember what makes the treasure chest appear. All right, here's this bullshit about to start. Not really what I was going for, but that was convenient. Oh, fuck it. This, I think, is more money. Nope. Oh. Okay. Next. This is a good XP room. Ha <laughs> ah, damn. Yes. Ah, money. Now we got Ravalor. Oh, we got a good 50 of it there. And we got 58. Still not enough to sell to that dude, but we could upgrade something in town if we wanted to. I think that's all there is in this room. But clearly the dungeons are becoming more elaborate. Oops. Shit. Shit. <laughs> all right, well, we went to the bottom. I did not necessarily want to go all the way to the bottom. Fucked up. But we're here now. We actually did fuck up. This room I remember. What we want to do, what we need to do rather, is we need to get all the way to the left. And we're not going to be able to jump. Oh, we did double jump up here. This isn't the room I want. I think. I don't think this is the room I want. Am I thinking of a different room? Nope. Yeah, the action, the, the, just the controls and the action of this game are beautiful, man. Everything is just fluid, it feels good. It's fun, it's fast. better at the double jump. Oh, you almost got me. Okay, yeah, that thing I remember being a problem. Don't hit me. Oh, I forgot about that shit. Holy shit! Uh, I happened to dodge it by luck rather than skill there. Or who knows, maybe some part of my subconscious was like, nope, don't get hit by the triple whack that it likes to do. Because yeah, you miss it. No, no, no. And then whack, whack, whack. 
Okay, right. And that hurts, man. Oh my god, does that hurt a lot. But I think I fucked up already. I think I needed in that main room to go more to the upper left. You know, I don't know. We've already gone this far. At this point, we probably could afford one of those armors. At this point, I'm still trying to just get my lay of things. I almost want to go back to that room and relearn it. I think I can... Nope, can't fall in there. And definitely. Yeah, that's what I was worried about. You can interact with that chest instead of hitting the enemy. I remembered that well enough. You in general, buddy. You know, I forgot about the boost in uh, Ilburn's Ruins. I should have done that when I was getting my ass kicked by all those, like, you know, swarms of little small little bastards. All right, this might be the room that maybe I was thinking of. Yeah, these things are a problem. These things are scary. Those things hurt a lot. Uh, nothing over here. Nope, nothing over there. Although, boy, I almost kind of want to use the wing to go back to town. I don't remember how much it cost to, um... I actually legitimately don't remember how much it cost for some of those things. Ow. Two was definitely uh, a challenge. Oh, I'm uh, pretty hurt from all that. I may need to just warp back to town just so I don't um, just want to fuck up. That guy right there. Come on, come on down. Yeah, come on, come on. Yep. Jump down, little asshole. Gotcha. All right. And I just got full health from leveling up, so that's always nice. Oof. All right. Next. I feel like I could get up there. Yep. More of this. I missed it. Fuck. Oh my god. Shit, shit. Oh. Ow. Oh my god. Oh shit. Okay, so that was, uh, bad. Okay, I need to get across that, but I am really low on health. So... Yes, we're gonna go back to the bridge. <laughs> we are not gonna lose our progress. We're gonna go back to the bridge. And let's see what we could, uh... Let's see what we can recover here. Sucks to not have found a warp point down there, but we couldn't lose our progress. That would have sucked a lot. Let's buy Welcome. a click. All right. 
Oh, I, we can't even afford the damn shield anyway. We're still 4,000 gold shy of it. All right, and the sword is 24 and the armor is 18. So we're looking at 16, 18, and 24. Nothing 1,200. Don't That's be a awesome. stranger. Damn, all right, well, we'll hold off for now. But we had to, we had to, we had to heal up. Had to heal up. Well, let's at least go back to the Tigre. We can at least go to the storehouse so we can start that over. And we'll save. Yep. Because we did gain a level. Oof. <laughs> yeah, we got our ass kicked. That's okay. We'll get a little further in this time. This time without Seraph screwing up. I almost think it might be worth it just to get the 18 rather than the 16, because I think the armor protects you a little bit better. And I don't think we find good equipment in this game. I think we have to buy it, at least at this stage. Although we're certainly going to get our money's worth out of the freaking mine. You. Getting the hang of this now. every time I say I notice that every time I say all right I'm getting this I every time an enemy at least hits me <laughs> well so it's not bad but it's amazing how often it's like oh yeah bitch slap just you know to keep you humble <laughs> yeah I was about to double jump and then I saw the window and I just kind of adjusted and you know on the fly all right. Slow, slow. Oops. Yep. Well, that big a deal. So it really ended up not being that big a deal. It is nice that the game will give you kind of health pickups as you go. It's like they knew you were going to need them. <laughs> so there wasn't anything over over there. Good. So I didn't actually miss anything there by falling. Fucked up. Nope, not that time. Oh, almost. I didn't count on two of them showing up. Here's the first of these fuckers. Get rid of you first. it there which actually really sucks because right you can charge it for god there we go you know i completely forgot i could do that I think I need the gemstone to charge it though. Right, I do need the gemstone to charge it, but then I could fly over slightly higher distances. Okay. Hey buddy. Got 
you. And we're still getting nicked every so often, but we're not getting our ass completely kicked. But what I'll try and do is not fall at that bridge. Close to it. You don't want to be. I didn't want to be distracted by that guy. I managed to get him before he even swiped at me. That's nice. Got this. Music certainly does help with the tension. <laughs> All right, here's this bullshit room again. Not be under that thing. in the right spot there, buddy. If there's anything up there. Doesn't look like there is. Of course, those guys just hit so much harder. Oh. Damn, damn. wasn't so bad this time. <sighs> that combination of enemies does tend to put a good, a good amount of damage on it. All right, so. <sighs> oh, God damn it. Oh my god damn it! God damn it! We got so close! Look at this bullshit! <laughs> oh, we're gonna have to go down. Oh, am I stuck? Oh my god, am I stuck? Wait. Oh my god, am I actually stuck? I'm stuck. Wow, it's a good thing I saved, huh? Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm totally stuck here. Well, we can still use the wing, but that's not the point. We shouldn't have to do that, <laughs> right? What a bunch of bullshit! <laughs> yeah, don't delete that save, Jesus. <laughs> Now, now these slimes are definitely fucking getting it now. Little bastards. That is such horse shit. <laughs> oh my god. I didn't even know that could happen. I don't think that was supposed to happen. <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> Whatever. I mean, we need money and XP, but that's not the reason why I wanted to go through this, you know, again. Unless it's both of Felgana just being like, you know, Seraph, you need more practice at this game. You let those enemies do way too much damage to you on your way through. All right, fine. Give me empty boosts. Why not? 
That is such a perfect GIF. <laughs> It's been a while since I've seen that movie. I'd say that's an occasion to do it again. Whoops. Made a mistake there. <clears throat> right, this is the way up. We want to go up, we want to go down. So if we hadn't gone up to talk to the uh, mural and we went down this way, we wouldn't be able to get past that part, obviously. <clears throat> water. Clearly I need some water. <clears throat> it's my favorite reaction. <laughs> well, the game certainly gave you a perfect time to use it. <laughs> like, my God. I'm like, are you kidding me here? Oh, it just occurred to me. I still have my uh, Zelda 3 overlay going on. Let's, uh... Let's transform the screen. That's better. Now I'm actually paying attention. Now you can actually see everything that's going on. It was probably actually somewhat nice being zoomed in, but, um... But yeah, you may as well actually see all, you may as well see everything. <laughs> Wish I'd caught that earlier, but overall not the end of the world. Just skipping on the, on the borders. But since the game does run in this resolution, you may as well show everything. Get away from that. Come on, buddy. Damn. I didn't get away from it in time. So close. At least we got our health back for it. Nope. Not today, monster. Not today. Oh, hell no. I knew we could kill him before he did the three, the three slice again. Now we're back to full health. Back down we go. Oh, no. Those things I generally tended to like to do with the double jump. Nope. I wonder if those are slightly different. They didn't tr even try to do the three, the three slice. Maybe they're slightly different. I just didn't notice. Okay. Now we're back at the almost to the bridge, right? We got to get through this. Come here, buddy. Eh, I thought I'd hit him. That. No. that worked pretty well, though. Hear it. I thought I could get away from it time. What I was trying to do is get to it before the other one even showed up. Problem is I, I moved too far left and the other one did show up. Oh. Okay. 
That was actually a pretty decent job on the part. Can this thing before it drops down? Yes, I can. And before it could swipe at me. Good. Game's keeping me on my toes. All right. Shall we try this again? Come on, come on, come on, come on. Thank you. Oh, God. Well, that worked out. Ah, good job. Hey, Kara, what's going on? I read chat every so often. Um, did the thing not, did we get a raid here? Yeah, we probably got a raid. Hey, Nikki, how are you? That was, uh, that was a, that was a part that kind of required concentration. So sorry if I missed the, uh, raid notification. Did, did my bot not play the raid notification to you again, Kara? Man, what is it? <laughs> what is it with your tent that it doesn't want to do that? So we just picked up our, uh, wind emerald upgrade. You are a bot. Yes, everyone on the bot, uh, everyone is the, uh, is, uh, on the internet is a bot other than you. Yep, that is a raid. That is a raid. There it is. <laughs> yeah, it just didn't want to play the, uh, play the symbol. I wonder why it's not doing that for your channel. It does it for everybody else, it seems. But welcome, Raiders. I think all of you know me anyway. <clears throat> so let's, let's catch up on chat here real quick. <laughs> let's see. I guess good. Thank you, uh... Thank you, uh, Nikki, for handling shout outs here. Ah, uh, Freakbot, greetings. Got to close one tab so I don't have you in stereo. Oh, why, thank you. I appreciate that. <laughs> Let's go. Raid time. All right. Ah, uh, thank you. Uh, oh, Dead Fool's here. How's, how are you, Dead Fool? Let's see. Hey, no problem. <laughs> yeah. Last play. Oh, you guys were playing Lethal Company. Excellent. How is Lethal Company doing? I heard they uh, did an update. Ah, uh, yes. All the shout outs are working. Good. I am definitely a. <laughs> I don't know if Maxi is here, but yes, thank you for shouting him out. Captain Maxi's awesome. You're about just a like, <laughs> yeah, right? We saw it. About to get you on here. Uh, we saw it. Uh, we got to, uh, we got to get you. On. Yeah, we definitely do. I, you know what I'll do? I'll pick it up this week and I'll buy it and I'll, uh, I'll start kind of experimenting with it just to get a handle on it. So I'm not learning the controls on stream. I bought, I mean, it's my freaking, right? Yeah. We all got electrocuted at the end. Oh, boo. So I didn't die as much to the bosses as I thought I would do, as I thought I would. I did have to farm a little bit to get up to that level, but we, uh, we got out of the Ilburn's ruins. So we got out of the volcanic caldera and now we're in the abandoned part of the Tigray mine where there are a bunch of really, really strong monsters. And so that's what's kind of going on right now. Let me do next time. You yeah, hell yeah, man. How many people could play Lethal Company? Is it like a is it like a four uh, a four player team or a five player team or I, I want to I, I feel like it's a four player team. Yeah, it is four player. Nice. Excellent. Wow, I don't even have to do shout outs at this point. Thank you, mods. <laughs> this, is, this is why I made this is why I made you guys mods. <laughs> Hey, I'm looking at LC mods. Uh, there's an expanded lobby mod. That sounds cool. It's always nice when the online player games have mods. Um, unlike the, although I think Fallout 76 has mods now, if I remember correctly. But but I could just be, I could be completely misremembering. I could be completely misremembering that. Uh, but yeah, there, I, I love, I, I love some of the quality of life mods that, uh, come to some of these games that things that just, once you have them, you're like, man, how did the, how did the developers not think of this or, or whatnot? So, uh, yeah, the only issue with those is I noticed like with MechWarrior 5, if you have people playing with you online, they all have to have the same mods. So if that's the case with Lethal Company, Darkstar, just let us know and I'll, you know, when I do join in on that, I probably will pick it up this week and install it this week. But that would be a lot of fun. I think that would be. I, I every time I watch you guys, it's a great time. So yes, I do appreciate the raid, Kara. Uh, it is always appreciated. It is always good to see you. I was hanging out in Kara's stream earlier as he was playing uh, V Rising at the time. Yep, we're back in the Tigray Quarry. So there's the the Tigray Quarry proper, and then there's the abandoned mine, which is complete darkness unless you have this gem, which I happen to pick up. And uh, so we could see that. But the monsters here are completely crazy. 
and I'm trying to get deeper into it, but I'm also trying to save up gold for either a better sword or a better shield or better armor. <clears throat> but this part of the mine is uh, is the Tigre Quarry on steroids. It is bonkers, <laughs> for lack of a better term. And um, so, yeah, wow. I, without having to do shout outs, I, I, I got nothing. But yes, welcome. Welcome, Raiders. <laughs> What's the uh, what's the Twitch convention? I'm Resplendent Seraph. I play mostly RPGs and uh, <laughs> and the whole shtick. But actually, this is a good time if you're watching on YouTube. Uh, thank you, Resplendent Bot. That is perfect. Uh, feel free to follow me on Twitch, on YouTube, and all those. And as the usual, like, subscribe for sure down below. Uh, yeah, don't worry. We got your mods for you. Excellent. <laughs> excellent, excellent, excellent. So yeah, let's uh, let's get back into this while I. While I continue to chat with you guys, I do appreciate it. Um, let's go back in the game here. Boom, 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 boom. So we acquired an emerald. Now we can get a little bit further. And now we can actually charge up this. There we go. Now we've got the better wind magic. So that's going to help significantly. Yeah, we get a little further now. <clears throat> so now we go deeper in here and we try not to get our ass kicked. Like that. Don't do that. That's what we're not doing. Fuck, I hate these things. Fucking flying jellyfish of doom. Now we can deal with these assholes. Nope, not today, lizard. Now, let's go see what's in here. Wait, how do I get over there? I'm not crazy. There's a pot down there. I feel like I should get to that. Can I not get to it? Oh, can I not get... Ah, here's how I get to it. Really? Really? Whatever. <clears throat> I mean, I needed a little health, but... That was not worth that. Nope. Get rid of you. Got that guy. Sure, Seraph, just hit the fucking wall instead of the monster. It's cool. Not like I wanted to hit the monster anyway. <laughs> That is not what I wanted. I hit you that time, little bastard. Got him. Oh shit, don't hit me twice. Got you. We're getting there. Um. Right. Okay, now what? I think I know what I need for this. I don't think I have it. Okay. All right, well, we're just going down here. Down, down, down. Deeper into the mine. Whew. Now down here. This is the room I think I need to be careful how I... Alright. I like money. Good. Alright. Well, we're closing in now on um, being able to afford some of the really cool shit. Down we go. The abandoned part of the mine is just so fucking big. Come here, asshole. Oops, damn it. 
That's what I want to do. That's a we. That is where we need to go. Okay. That is where we need to go. Now, granted, I could drop down there and see what's to be had down there, but this is where we actually need to go. That was not what I was expecting. These guys in the Spanish Inquisition, not expecting that job down. <laughs> okay. Might as well just deal with this now. Now we hop up, and I need to... Yep, there's that again. to do the wind magic and not fire magic there. Not even uh, that. <sighs> Can't afford to fall at this point. Come here, buddy. Come on. You're not knocking me off. I remember him knocking me down before. I gonna come on. Ugh. Damn it. Okay. Okay. Okay, didn't need to do that after all. It's just a ball time double jump. Okay, well, I don't have what I need to get through that. I don't even remember what's in there, but that's okay. We'll we can come back here later. We can come back here later. <laughs> all righty then. Okay, so in the original TurboGrafx version, this boss really might be the hardest boss of the game, like legitimately. I don't remember it being that bad in this version, but let's give it a whirl. Did I save it? I think I saved it. Let's not even fuck around. Yeah, <laughs> not playing around. Part of me wants to actually level up a little bit more to see if I could get the shield or the armor, but let's just see how comically underleveled I am. <sighs> Damn it. Damn, gotta remember he does that. Oh, that laser thing hurts a lot. That's, ow. I don't know what hit me there. Ow. Okay. So, yeah. Right. I forgot, though. Also, the, the floor in this room is icy. Yeah, it's a good day to die. Yes, it is. Rob and I will die a lot. Uh, let me try it one more time. You know, getting handle things. Because obviously, you fuck up, so you're going to have to... Ah. Fucking lasers. That's the problem, you gotta destroy those. Cause they, oh, come on. You gotta destroy these. I'm gonna do that shit. Oh, come on, really? Oh, don't jump there. No, do not fire that, thank you. This is just the first form of this boss. You're gonna jump and swirl. Yep, good. I hate the icy bullshit. Oh, 
Nope. No, no, no. Nope. Nope. I'm not doing that. Ow. Fucking lasers. Damn it. I was doing good up until that one moment. Oh, oh now, now the rest, now the real bullshit begins. <laughs> well, we got to the second part. <laughs> oh, this fucking bullshit. Oh, do I remember this? East, the shmup edition. You cannot hit the boss in this state. You just have to avoid this shit. That's it for that. And of course I took so much damage earlier. Made my life a lot more difficult than it needed to be. This is the only time it's vulnerable. I hate this boss. For that. I thought I was only going to get one hit and that was going to be it. Damn. Turns out it was two hits. <laughs> I did beat the dragon. Uh, actually, I think it only took us four tries to beat the dragon. It may not have even taken that many. Uh, so we did okay in the dragon. Um, I think I actually might need to go back out and level up to, to do this one, but we're gonna retry this again. I'm gonna try not to, uh, if, it, it can be done. I just need to. Nah, I got hit by the damn sweep. Oh, it got me on two sweeps. Oh, it got me on three sweeps. Damn. Oh, this was bad luck. Yeah, we, 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 I should just let it kill me on this one. Yeah, just, just sweep and kill me, Artie. Whatever. This was a bad run. I let it hit me too many times with that sweep. Yeah, just, just be it done with it. We did much better on the time before that. <laughs> Let's try this again. This time, get a couple of cheap shots in. And we have to, uh, damn it. I promise if I get close on that side, yeah. Gotta kill these things. Otherwise they'll make too many lasers and they're hard to dodge. Whoops, got too close to that one. Ah! Okay, dodged it somehow. Fortunately, these things don't seem to do too bad. Nope. Managed to get me on that. Oh, come on. I didn't think I was close enough for that. I feel like that shouldn't have hit me right over. The, the name of the game of this boss, though, is Patience. Oh, fuck. But yeah, it was a problem. I let way too many of these things spawn, and now we got a shit ton of lizards. Uh, <laughs> lasers. Of course, I'm sliding all over the fucking place. This floor is icy. Ah, I got too greedy there. But yeah, once it's halfway dead. Yeah, I still think I got hit too many times. Well, let's try it. Let's try it. I feel like I... Once we actually get to this part, it's actually easier, weird as that might sound. Oh, wow, he's doing this already, huh? Yeah, but all those lasers will do a lot of damage out here, but... Oops. Oh, shit. Fuck up. Yeah, there it is. Yeah, now I'm back into, uh... No, uh... 
No tolerance for a mistake here. I have to be perfect now. Or I might be able to get hit once. wasn't prepared for that. I thought that was what it was doing. <laughs> it's it's hard, but yeah, it's it's doable. So I'm I'm inclined to try because otherwise I'm gonna be grinding for a while. I'd really rather not do that. So let's let's try at least a couple more times and see if I can We gotta deal with some of the we gotta get this under control. Last time we did not, and uh Nope. Not doing that again, buddy. Still managed to get me on that. Oh, it's such cheap. Oh, come on, I jumped to avoid that. Man, you gotta give that one to me. I dodged it. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> yeah, we're fucked. We're fucked again. I took too much damage. Damn it. I keep getting I keep taking too much damage on the first part. Are you kidding me? This thing was so hard in the Turbo Graphics version. At least I felt like it was. But yeah, and uh, this this version, this like this part's just annoying. That. The problem is like when I get to this part, then it's like, well, you better be perfect, damn it. Like that. One fucking simple mistake. Let's try that again. This time without fucking up. Maybe that's what I need to do. Just stay, keep my distance and just keep firing this shit out. Oh shit. God damn laser again. The lasers, the problem is the lasers will do very significant damage. Maybe that's the plan here. Maybe that's the plan. I need to fight smarter on this thing, not harder. Yeah, I thought I could get that one. Ground is icy, which Seraph hates. Ah, lasers really hurt. I'm trying this. Let's see. You know what? That was that was the way to do it. This or vampire guy? Uh, not sure what vampire guy is at the moment. <laughs> I'll be able to think about that more in a minute. <laughs> I'll be able to think about that more in a second. I got the, the shmup mode here. a whole lot of damage on that window. It's just a lot of this bullshit. Oh, that's really gonna jump. Oh, come on, you 
jumped right to me. Oh, come on. Fuck! Oh, damn it, Seraph! Couldn't get to it in time. I fucked up. He kept hitting me with that shit. Damn, man. All right, one more time. Let's try this with this. Let's see if I can do a little better here. Um, came up right under me. That was a bad pattern. Too many of them out here. Damn. Damn. Fucking laser. I didn't realize so many of them got spawned over here. Okay, not terrible. Now let's see if I can actually do this. Oh, the bat? Uh, no, that bat is like one of the toughest boss fights in any East game. Like, legitimately, that thing was terrible. <laughs> we we died so many times to that thing. Oh my god. Come on. Oh, come on. Man, it really fucked me on the on the button recognition on that. Whatever. We'll get another burst. Kept activating that. Uh, right after. It almost got me in between that. But yeah, this boss is uh, interesting, to say the least. Got this, got this. Of course, he's gonna fire more at me. Come on. We just do, do so little damage to him every, every window. So it can be done, but man, we got to be fucking perfect. Do that. Yep, thank you. Uh, damn it. Oh! <laughs> this is just fucking bananas. Look at this shit. <laughs> All right. Oh, a new pattern. That's lovely. Well, that actually wasn't so bad. It was just different. Although that in concert with the others was certainly interesting. You. And if you're outside, you take just a ridiculous amount of damage, because of course you do. I actually preferred the other pattern. Aw, oh, damn it. Man. 
really? Damn it. Okay, that's what I jumped into last time, and that was a big mistake. Oh, fuck. Can't really see where I'm jumping there. Oh, that was terrible placement. Although it knew what it was doing there. No! Thought it was the window. <laughs> All right. Uh, I think I'm gonna go back and let's 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 try and get a level or at least get a better uh, weapon or shield or something. We're this close, so I found a Lethal Company mod pack that looks like it could be uh, the one to go with. I'll post the link in both mine and Freakbot's Discord servers. Nice. We'll find it. Uh, so that's fine. We're just gonna load. We're not far. Yeah, it's just we don't we don't do enough damage to it. Um, we're we're close though. We're close. I mean, it theoretically can be done, but it it would take a while. Um, but we're we're very close, so we're just gonna head back out here a little bit and let's go. Let's make some money. I mean, we know how to do it. We're just we're just under level. That's the only that's the only gripe I have about this game. If it's if you're under leveled, it's really 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 difficult. Um. I mean, if I sat there and die over and over and over again, I'd eventually get it. But like, you know, why why do that to myself? <laughs> let's uh, let's explore the underbelly of this. Get some XP here. Plus, I really do think if I have better armor, he'll do a lot. He'll do a lot less damage to me. Okay, apparently we can't. Uh, Damn it. Going for there. It's hard to do with the button placement. I was like trying to jump, but the button, um, it is a very awkward button. Look at that. Thank you. At this point, we just kill. Yeah, you got that off. That's all right. We still got healing items. I'm not worried about it. Come here, buddy. Yeah, you got me on. But you drop a healing item anyway, so it doesn't really matter, does it? We're almost at 1,600. I do like the, uh, I do like the idea of getting 1,800 first. Let's actually go in back in this room and let's go down and see what's doing down here. Maybe there's money. Oh, we got a cattle elixir. Let's take this. Uh, yeah, there's no level cap. Thank goodness. Plus, this makes Link to the Past look like a freezer, doesn't it? <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah. So let's max up our HP. That's nice. That'll be useful for the boss later. Yeah, it really does. Makes Link to the Past looks like look like a cakewalk. <laughs> God damn, man. It is fun, though. The game is a lot of fun. It is, um, it definitely takes its challenge to a new level. But, um, oh, we got more uh, Ravalor, huh? You know what? Well, when we buy the thing, maybe we'll upgrade the Ravalor. I still think we'll, I still think I'm inclined to keep it for the side quest guy. Because for the most part, upgrading your equipment really doesn't do that much. In my experience. Ooh. Well, we'll get him later. Work our way up. Thank you. Alright, so this is the bridge where we jump across. That's not a big deal. Go, thank you. Money, 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 money. And we're actually we're getting some pretty decent XP while we look for gold. So primarily I'm looking for um I did not mean to hit that button again. That's the only problem. That's a gamepad's problem. It's not um, the game's fault. Um, my gamepad, it's got a controller button for the boost underneath my thumb. So if I move a little carelessly, it will uh, it will inadvertently trip it. That, that kind of sucks. <laughs> but yeah, this game is definitely harder than Link to the Past. I, uh, 
That was one of the complaints about this game, is people thought it was too hard. <laughs> so it's, um... It's definitely not a cakewalk. But the challenge is part of the fun. It's actually funny, I remembered how to beat the boss. The, the, um... Actually, I'm glad I remembered how to beat it. But, um, yeah, I just... I don't do enough damage to it, and I take a little too much damage whenever uh, it hits me. So I'm like, yeah, I just... XP solves that problem. <laughs> XP solves all problems. <laughs> Makes scared for my Nightmare playthrough eventually. Oh, you're going to play this on Nightmare? Oh, boy, Deep Fry. Although, I will say this. Having... Uh, I decided not to do any kind of, like, crazy difficulty on this. I beat E6 on hard, which is the hardest difficulty level. And I would say... It really didn't feel like it was all that much different. So if you um like once you actually get a hang of it, now granted it was it was hard. Uh I don't think I would do it again. <laughs> Cause the game is just it, the game is fun. I like I like I do like the game. And I think it's uh challenging enough. But one of the frustrating things about E6 at least when it comes to the hard mode is it makes one jump you do particularly more challenging to do. So you have to like do this like dash jump where you have to hit a certain button combination to do the jump just right. And the input is more demanding on the harder difficulty. So that is the reason I don't think I would. But if it was just harder, like if it weren't for the dash jump thing, I probably would just play E6 on hard and and be done with it. Um, for the games, they're hard, but I think they're just kind of hard in general. I don't think the extra difficulty really pumps it up that much. But knowing I was going to play this on stream, I'm like, no. Plus, this game I've literally never beaten. So I also wanted to make my life possible. <laughs> I can just imagine being an affiliate by the time I'm actually at the end of this game and having sound alerts and just having people going, maybe it's a skill issue by the time we get to the bat last boss, Galvalan. And I'm like, yeah, everyone else would have a field day with me dying over and over again. But I'm like, I don't know if I want to do that to myself. <laughs> At this point, we're going to go back because things down below give us better XP and they give us better money. What I'm really looking at is getting the 1800. I want the better armor. I actually think the better armor will do more for me than the XP will. Although the XP will definitely help. Come on, little bastard. Duh. So I think there's something else in here that I may have missed. But then again, I'm thinking it's also just a little area beyond. I'm a glutton. A glutton for punishment or a gluten for punishment? <laughs> we like gluten around here. Mmm, tasty gluten. That's not what I like. Seraph's had food on the brain, like, all day. Had breakfast late. Saw Sarum Chan on earlier. Had a, had a small breakfast. And then ended up uh, skipping lunch and just doing a late kind of lunch slash dinner thing. But I've just been hungry in general. Yeah. Those guys get some quick XP. I mean, yeah, we'll take our beating, but that's enough out of you. Wow, we really did take our beating there. I didn't think it would take off half health, so uh, I won't do that again. Although it was really fast and speedy XP, so that part was nice. Yeah, this guy is the one that can really hurt us. That's what we need. Life! Give me life! Give me life! I'm alive! And these things were annoying in the original version, too. I do find it funny that FreakBot's like, man, that boss was an easy thing in the Super Nintendo version, which makes me wonder, did he just think it was easy? Or did they nerf it for the Super Nintendo version? Really? Gonna... Fine. Like, is it going to make me do this? There we go. 
kind of hoping they would give me more money. I'm actually getting more XP than money. I would rather have the money than the XP, to be honest. But at least with the wing, we can now just teleport all the way back down here. We don't have to go back down here. Help by we're actually swiping in the right direction, wouldn't it? Uh, uh do, 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 do. we're currently doing that. Ah, uh, the the 6v trophy hunt and the Uncharted 2 on brutal difficulty. Yeah, you are. You are a, gr a, a glutton for punishment. Holy shit. <laughs> Uh, I liked Uncharted, but yeah, the higher difficulty levels on Uncharted are, are pretty punishing. Uh, one of the trophies I died at least five or six hundred times. Granted, the respawn is quick. Wow. Oh my goodness, that's a lot. That's dedication. Like, try, try again. Was the trophy's name Try, Try Again? Because it sounds like that's what the trophy name should be. Oh, I missed it. Damn. Enough out of you guys. Wow. They're really. I mean, these guys are really whacking me here. Oh, you did do the three thing. Damn. I didn't think they would. Fuck. Yes, give me those. I need those flowers. Yes, give me health. I need that. There we go. Well, we got a level up, so that was nice. Do I just go back for the shield? Yeah, let's just... Well, we're only... A, we're actually getting pretty close money-wise. Let's get the 1800, because I'd rather have the armor. Rather the armor than the shield. Although, let's take a look. Maybe it really doesn't matter much. So, plus 24, plus 18. It's not really that big a deal. So, maybe the improved shield really would make a, a difference. We can just do that now. Uh, what do you guys think? Shield or armor? Sadly, it was called Laboratory Mastered. Ah, I love it. So I could just stay in here and get a little more gold to get to that shield. Or get to that armor. Ah, I hit it too late. Back up we go. Actually... <laughs> we just go back down here. Yeah, armor is more all the time, no? Yeah, I, I agree. Let's do the armor. Actually, let's save because we got some good progress. Let's get this armor, and then we'll come back and we will get some we'll get some revenge on that boss. Because then it's not going to do nearly the amount of damage to us. Oops. Plus, we'll do more damage to it now. We'll have a much easier time with the Lobos. Oh, I didn't even see that guy there. Boo! Nice job, Seraph. Fuck. Yeah, this is different. That's why. Oh. Give me your money. Jeez. Give me all that much money. But, hey, we'll get there. You. Yeah, let's kill these guys. Cat, hello. You gonna headbutt my arm, my leg? Hello, I love you too, cat. Hello, cat. Sorry, I have to pet the cat. <laughs> She's so soft and friendly. Hello, hello, cat. Hello, Cleo. <laughs> I couldn't make up my mind whether I wanted to say cat or Cleo, and I said neither. Hello, honey. Are you a good girl? You gonna hang out with me? Yeah, good girl. I love you too. We like money. Let's have to pour into this bullshit now. We're almost there. Oops. Oh, 
probably just gonna drop in on us anyway. Yep. <laughs> Called that. Ah, I thought I could get around him. Oh, he still did that bullshit. Back up we go. Hey, fall one more time, buddy. We got you. Thank you for the health. Uh. Come here, asshole. realize something please be money please be money well all right we'll take Ravalor <laughs> hello Miss Cleo everybody says hi to you they all love you <laughs> well Ravalor is nice so that was definitely worth exploring I'm like wait a minute I see a place I haven't gone yet this thing oh is that no oh. oh. We need to kill monsters because we need money. So, we'll take more Ravalor too while I'm at it. Well, now you. Oh, we could do. Um, we got it. We've got this now. Kill this guy anyway. Because. Let's do the wing. We're going back to town now. That actually works. By getting that Ravalor, we now have 200 Ravalor. We can sell it to the dude, and he's going to give us money. Money. Money, 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 money. I like money. It's raining money. Hey, guys. Thanks for sticking around to the fucking mine. You... <laughs> We ran into monsters on our way back and barely escaped with our lives. You're lucky you guys are awesome and I think you're cool. Otherwise, I'd be so mad at you for just ditching me at the mine right now. I haven't run that fast in years. Didn't even know I could run that fast. <laughs> Felt good though. I was giving it my all in all, just like you. So I'll keep running while you keep fighting, okay? Yeah, thanks, buddy. That's all right. One of our mining apprentices, Bob, died in a bridge collapse in the Tigre Quarry. He was a good man. I'd give anything to have prevented it. Yeah, it's all right, Ricardo. It's strange, though. Looking back, that incident was the start of it all. Things have been peculiar in there ever since. If I start thinking about it, I'll just get depressed, and that won't help anyone with anything. Sell Ravalor. That's impossible. You have 200 hunks of Ravalor on your person this very moment? Wow, you really do. I must admit, that's an impressive use of space. It doesn't hurt, does it? My mind is blown. I could just picture Jackie Chan. <laughs> you ever give any thought to becoming a merchant? You'd be a good one, I think. Anyway, what do you say? Two hundred Ravel hunks for 10,000 gold sound fair, you? Yes. Yes, it fucking does, Antonio. Yes, it fucking does. <laughs> All right, the deal is done. Here's your 10,000 gold. Oh Thanks my God, if you. I only had found that Ravelor earlier. Ravelor I could ever need. Everybody wins, <laughs> especially me. <laughs> Why does that man's mouth look like an anus, right? And let me tell you, if I can sell all these in Rome, I'll be an unstoppable one-man monopoly. Are you meowing at me, cat? Hello. Oh, before I forget, I certainly do owe you for all the help you've given me. Here you go. Consider it a bonus for a job well done. Ah! Oh. Well, that's cool. It's not immensely valuable. <laughs> but you should still be able to get a decent price for it if you can find a buyer. Where did it come from, you ask? Oh, <laughs> I'll never tell. Consider it a businessman's prerogative. Just take it and go. I think I know what we're doing with this. Okay. We're going to do a side quest I've never actually managed to do. I think this is in here. I think I remember this guy talking about losing a ring somewhere. Cats me out or something. Uh, maybe not. This is still the same text we saw earlier. Burgar, 
card. It's golden here. Uh, hey, ma'ams, do you know who this ring belongs to? I just can't bring myself to remember, uh, believe all the rumors floating around Chester. He and Elena first came here over 12 years ago. Mayor Edgar took them in since they'd both lost their parents. Since all they had was each other, more or less, Chester was always really good to Elena. Always looked out for her. He was a clever young man and really knew his way around a sword. Sometimes helped Edgar with his duties too. Told him he was going to make this town great just so he could shock the hell out of Dogie when he came back. We all believe Chester would make us proud someday. I keep hoping he'll change his mind all about the nonsense. Come home uh, to Elena. Now we Fine don't... mess we've got here in Felgana. No, Chester's the big shocker for me. He's had a dignified air about him ever since he was a child. We always suspected that he might be the son of a nobleman or some such thing. But there's nothing noble about McGuire. Doggy, on the other hand, was a total mess as a child. And look at him now. Though I suppose I can't really compare since I know nothing at all about Chester's life before Redmond. The events of his distant past could hold the missing puzzle piece that gives valid context to all his actions. I don't know about valid context, but... But then, what do I know? The more I think about it, the more I realize just how pointless it is to think about it. Okay, what do I do with this jade ring? I've actually never gotten the jade ring, so I don't really know what to do with it. It's not a case of, hey, I remember what to do with this. No fucking clue. Do I just sell it? Maybe I just sell it. You know that island out in Santa Bay? Yeah, the one called Janus Island, about that dude I talked to telepathically through a stone tablet in the abandoned mine? They gave me the double jump? Yeah, that dude's awesome. There used to be a small village there a long time ago, but one day some kind of epidemic broke out, and that was the end of them. Isn't that just horrible? Really makes you think. You never know what tomorrow may bring. Oh, so Janus Island is uh, abandoned. Ah, okay. Looks like the men's ring, but of much higher quality than I'm used to seeing. The design suggests it's Garmanic in origin. It's quite beautiful. Well, we do know somebody from Garmin. Oh, sorry, I got a little too working in my... Uh, might you be willing to part with this lovely ring? I'll make the transaction well worth your while. I don't know what else to do with it. Uh, I can always sell it to her, I think. Well, if you should ever change your mind, just say the word, okay? Yeah, I think I could always do that. Yeah, we could always sell the Jade Ring. I I feel like there's some other purpose to it, though. I really feel like I remember somebody saying they lost a ring somewhere. But anyway. Welcome. Now the important part. Now that we've got fucking money. That's the one you want? Thank you. Man, we're almost close to that bandage shield again, but that's all right. We got the armor, and Don't that's what fucking matters. All right. Let's get the hell out of here. We still have money, but I don't think there's anything else we need. Now let's go and fuck up that boss. It's still going to be tricky, but with better armor and an extra level on our side, I think we'll do... We'll be much, much better off. Wow, it was only eight, though. Wow, well, but anyway. You'd be surprised, though. An extra eight defense, it, it, it adds up very, very quickly. All right, so now we go back to this abandoned mine. Uh, actually, yeah, let's turn on always dash. Make my life easier for this fucking boss. That was a bad fucking, uh, pattern. Did the laser like right off the fucking bat. Oh, man. It's not holding back, that's for sure. Fuck you. Nope. Oh, I thought I could go in for it. I mean, I could, but it wasn't worth getting hit. I would have much rather not get hit at all. Fuck. But all right. What are we doing? <laughs> yeah, we do a lot more damage now. Jesus. What a difference one level makes.
Sucks we couldn't do it with while we were under leveled, but whatever. This invulnerable and fucking bullshit. Oh ho ho ho, that was dirty, man. It's like, am I playing Issa or am I playing a shmup? <laughs> yeah, this time I didn't fall for it. Canoe. I fucking hate this thing, man. Oof, hit me twice that time. Oh, goodness gracious. One more, maybe two. Yeah. Better. There you go. You son of a bitch! We got him though. I would have been so livid if we had done that when we were under. Oh shit, he hit me a bunch of times there. I would have been absolutely livid though if we if he had done that. There we go, we got him now. He's dead. Can you imagine? Yeah, both. You're now ready for R. I don't know if I'm ready for R type yet. That game is hardcore. Frequent was actually playing that earlier. Um. And, uh, yeah, no, our type is crazy. <laughs> but there's our statue. But yeah, it's amazing what, uh, what difference uh, a level makes. All right, so this thing's dead. And now we've got the double jump. So now, yeah, let's turn off the police dash. Uh, yes, let's go with inventory to the wing, and let's... Uh, yeah, we'll just go to the bridge. That's fine. And we'll see how late we go. It's uh, 10 o'clock, but I'm still... I've still got some good energy here. It looks like we've got a lot more monsters on our hands all of a sudden. Of course we do. They're all over Felgana instead of just in the quarry. Things could get rough with Gardner protecting the town by his lonesome. By the way, you haven't seen Anya, have you? Oh, goodness gracious. I noticed some Ravalor missing from the house. Can't imagine what she plans on doing with it. <laughs> yeah, that's a side quest. Hunger doesn't wait for peace. Peace waits for hunger and to be sated. And my belly's roaring like a wildfire. That's why I love Paul. <laughs> a fellow uh, fan of eating like me. But then I haven't been working much, so I haven't been eating as much either. So I guess it makes sense. At all, please wipe out all the monsters so I can eat yummy food again without feeling like a blubbery pickard I am. Oh, Paul, never change. Elena came to my house a little while ago and she had plenty to say, that's for sure. Mostly just nonsensical banter, like old times. But that's the thing. It was just like old times. Strange, no? She seems to be much better spirits than before. And for the life of me, I can't figure out what improved her mood. It's like the cloudy skies in her heart have begun to clear and the sun's come shining through. Spirits have been pretty low lately for obvious reasons, but I think Elena's got the right idea. Just keep right on moving. It's not our time. It's... <laughs> Fair, 
Uh, hey, Hustle, what's going on? Kara, good luck, sir. Everybody, thank you. I appreciate that. It's not our type of game. <laughs> oh, man, Ghosty, that took me a second. Oh, my God. I think I actually took psychic damage from that. <laughs> God damn. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the content we come here for. <laughs> God damn. <laughs> Holy, Holy shit. That's, that's funny. Oh, man. Nade would be proud. Never mind trading. We don't even have food for the dinner table right now. Not right, another daily recessities. What does McGuire expect us to do? See, so just trying to kill us slowly and spinelessly. So the next area is uh, Mount Seco, but I want to have them actually send me there rather than just going in there. Uh, I've never been able to survive on my own, much less with family. Let's see. Let's see who's going on. We need to find Anya, number one, but we also need to go to Elena. Let's go to Elena's house and see. Oh, I don't see Elena here. Okay. Where's Elena? There's Anya. Hey, Mr. Adol. You want to play a game with me? Really? You'll play? <gasps> You're super awesome, mister! I want to play treasure hunt, except you'll be the hunter and I'll be the pirate who hid all the booty. Arr! Avast ye, scallywag! Me treasure been hid all across this scurvy town, and you're the only one who can find it! I love Anya's fucking enthusiasm. <laughs> there four stashes of rich stuff. If you can find them all, you'll be the king of the pirates! <laughs> Now go, for I make ye walk the plank. And I love how the voice act, the clearly the voice actors had fun with that, because uh, <laughs> well, I, I mean you could tell the enthusiasm of one. And there's one piece of Ravalor right here. It's hiding behind here. Hey, Mr. Adol, there's something I wanted to ask you. My little picker buddies have been severely under the weather lately. Oh, look at that. Another side quest. I looked up their symptoms and it sounds like they got themselves some kind of disease. But how? I mean, I've always pampered them and showered them with love and protection. So how come they got sick? And so a pickard is an East unique kind of uh, animal. It's kind of like a cross between, as far as I could tell, a rabbit and a pig. They've never gotten sick on my watch before, and certainly not this badly. I think they might even be dying. They just keep getting weaker and weaker. There's an herb called a berm leaf and that grows in the Elder Mountains. It's supposed to be like a, a Picard cure-all, but it's kind of rare and hard to find. And I'm way too young and fragile to scale those icy monster infested slopes. Finally, somebody who has some fucking sense. I just don't know what to do. What I need is a hero who'll risk it all for great justice and cute pickards. All right, so when we find that in the Elder Mountains on Mount Seco, we'll, uh, we'll have his cure. So we need to keep an eye out for that. I don't actually remember where exactly that is. Spawners are starting to, Spawners are starting to talk about Felgana being cursed. Damn fools. What happened to say I have to justify that? Just because we have a few monsters, suddenly we're cursed? I'm trying to remember where all the Ravel ore is. Oh, okay, but here's the plot. Oh, at all. Yeah, if only some main character would help me. <laughs> at all, you made it. Pierre just got back from the castle a little while ago. Seems Bishop Nicholas made a good case on his behalf, and the Count saw fit to let him go. Protex don't have time for this bullshit, <laughs> right? Right, Darkstar? <laughs> yes. He spoke How you doing, buddy? You've been here for have you been here for a while or did you just hop in? A tremendous debt of gratitude. This is spoke far kinder things are, yeah, right. Unfortunately, Chester was out on an errand for the Count at the time. So no answers were to be had on that front. Good deal. Yeah, I remember I was chatting a little bit very early on. It's just been a while. <laughs> but I, I lurk also, so it's, it's all good. <laughs> the bishop had no luck finding any information on the statues either, I'm afraid. Yeah, we have very similar senses of humor when it comes to RPGs and protagonists. 
So it's nice to find another that kindred spirit. Unfortunate. But we shall take the victories we can get. And the bishop is still there, so answers may yet be forthcoming. On another note, how did your investigation of the abandoned mine go, Adol? Adol recounted all the events that transpired in the abandoned mine and detailed the items he acquired therein. Amazing. You're like a magnet for danger. Hmm. Genos. And Galbalan. I never thought I'd hear that name again, much less in this context. Oops. Yeah. You know what it is, then? It's an old local legend. Ah, yes. You brought an invoice. <laughs> Long ago, a great and terrible beast known as Galbalan came from across the sea and took control of Felgana. Wouldn't that be... In all seriousness, wouldn't that be fucking amazing if one day, like, a hero protagonist just brings, like, the village elder or whatever, like, a literal invoice? <laughs> he had the power to transform the people and spirits under his influence into twisted, evil creatures. Or so it goes. But one day, a hero appeared, wielding a mighty sword. He was the warrior. Genos, he borrowed the powers of the gods and fought the beast. And at long last, against insurmountable odds, he won. <laughs> I have receipts. <laughs> so fun fact, that's actually who's on the cover of East Book 2. Whoever did the cover art for this game, they only like watched the intro and they don't have at all on the cover. This is Genos on the cover of this game. <laughs> so, uh... That was that was pretty fun. It was very obvious whoever did the cover artwork didn't actually either either didn't have people play through the game or uh, or they just watched like the very opening intro to it. So um, <laughs> I, I always thought that was funny unless they did that deliberately. But anybody who plays East knows at all the protagonist. So I don't know why they would try to do like some, uh, you know what I mean? I don't think they were trying to screw with people and there. That's about the extent of what I know, I'm afraid. Legends like that aren't too popular these days. Barely anyone remembers them, <laughs> save for old coots like me. I've certainly never heard it before, but that does remind me. I asked Bishop Nicholas earlier if he happened to know the origin of the Ilburn's ruins. Apparently, it used to be a church of sorts, devoted to some long-lost pagan deity. Interesting. Given the circumstances of late, it's not unreasonable to suspect there may be a connection. There's also one more thing that bears mentioning. Out in the Siena Bay, there's an old deserted island we've always known by just one name. Genos Island. There was once a small village there, but it was ravaged and destroyed by disease 12 years ago. What? It happened three years before you arrived, so I'm not surprised you wouldn't know about it. Genos Village never had many dealings with Redmond, and the whole tragedy was so terrible. People rarely discuss it. I don't know much about the disease that killed them all, though, I'm afraid. According to the official statement from Palestine Castle, it was some sort of extremely severe fever. This doesn't instill a lot of hope. An island named for the hero who defeated Galvalan, totally annihilated. Yeah, convenient that a bunch of people that might know about Genos are all dead now. It's 200 to take care of- <laughs> Oh, this is gonna be good. It's 200 to take care of those bandits and 20 gold per bandit, another 200 for the return of the kidnapped villagers, and 400 in supernatural hazard pay! Because there was a fucking wizard there you never warned me about! <laughs> right? That always seems to happen to- <laughs> The voice Adam awesome. heard is seeming less and less implausible, and more and more... frightening. Indeed. Adol, Dogi's gone to speak with his master, Bearheart. Perhaps you should meet with Bearheart as well. He's a rather eccentric man who's chosen a life of near solitude, and devoted himself to studying the land's folklore. There's no one in Felgana who'd be more likely to know about Genos, Galvalan, the statues, and maybe even that voice. I believe I'll return to the castle and update Bishop Nicholas on what we've discussed here. If you decide to follow Dogi Adel, I suggest you exercise caution. The Elder Mountains are... Uh, not hospitable. 
<laughs> Understatement. There. Are you going to give me something else if I talk to you? Nope. No one if, yeah, he just, re, he just spits out the same information. All right. Let's find these other, these other Ravalor real quick. I feel like I should be able to find it. Well, I remember where one is because it was super egregiously annoying to find. It's right there. It's actually in plain view up on top of the column. Sorry to have made you worry, Sister Nell. And Bishop Nicholas, too. I had no idea so many people cared so much about me. I'm both flattered and embarrassed. Welcome back, Father Pierre. I'm relieved you made it home safely. I do hope, however, that you'll be more mindful of your position in the future. You had us worried sick. So I think I go here. There we go. And I pop up. Ugh. God damn it. This is why I remember this one. Because it's very fucking annoying to get to. Oh my god. I can see it and I can't get to it. That ladder doesn't look up to OSHA standards. No, no, it is not. <laughs> Fucking bending and shit. Ugh. This column being in the way doesn't help matters. There we go. Oh, Sarah, if you were there. <laughs> You're done. God damn it. <laughs> All right. We got this. Oh, all right. This this time we got it for real. Okay. Got it. <sighs> it's fucking curved. It's literally fucking curved for the weight. Yeah, I remember that one because it, by the time I found it, I'm like, oh my god, you gotta be kidding me. All right, so I just need a few more, and I don't rem I don't really remember. Oh, there's one. Luckily, you can see them. They're not, like, hidden behind something you can't see. So if you, if you're, you know, if you got a good enough eye, you will see it. I think there's one more. I think it's in somebody's house. I'll just say the same thing. Bob's remains lie unmarked in the cold, uncaring darkness of the quarry, half buried in rubble, forgotten and alone. I don't mean to sound morbid, but I just can't stop thinking about it. Dear Lord, please keep watch over Bob's soul and grant him continued respite within your divine light. May he remain always in the eternal embrace of his dearly departed parents. Yeah, that's pretty morbid. Where is this last ravel? Somewhere in town. Is it inside a building? I think it is inside a building. All right, so I just need to find whatever building she fucking stashed it in. I don't think she stashed it in here, but we'll look anyway. Oh, hey, Gardner. Well, if it isn't the new hero on the block, Adol Kristen. I was just checking in for an appointment to get my spear all sharpened up and ready for action. I don't like leaving my post unattended, but that's no less dangerous than facing monsters with a dull weapon, you know? That's true. Not gonna lie, in a world full of fantasy named Bob's on his sticks out like a sore thumb, right? Uh, I'm sure if you go Super Saiyan, you could uh, beat the boss, right? Uh, I, 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 if, I'm sure if you go Super Saiyan, you could beat the boss, right? Uh, which, which boss, Deep Fry? Because um, the one we've, we just fought is only vulnerable for certain windows. That's kind of the issue with it. So you really have to time up its attacks. Or are you talking about Galvalan? Will you talk? I came to Felgana looking for some work. You say the uh, swore this. Oh, right here it is. I swore in this ring I'd make it to full blown knighthood. But hey, wait a second. Where's my? Why is my finger got nothing on it? Where's my damn ring? There we go. It's gone. I did remember. That's why I'm like I could swear I remember Randolph talking about a ring. Oh, I'm so screwed. <laughs> Where the hell could I have lost it? I know I had it when I left for Valestine Castle. Hey, Red, old buddy, old pal. You haven't seen a strange ring around right conspicuously, have you? Huh? As it's certain. Uh, hey, Red, uh, can I see that ring you got there? Uh, wow, he is uh, sauced. my ring, all right. I'd recognize it anywhere. Uh, come on, man. Help a guy out. Let me have it back, will you? Oh, man. Oh, thank you. I, I seriously owe you one. You're the best, Red. Now uh, we've... 
Now we find out what I actually get, because I don't I don't think I've ever done this. In fact, you know what? I've got something I'd like to give you to show my appreciation. I had a feeling there would be something good rather than money. Now I can go back home to my family and they won't bite my head off. <laughs> <laughs> It's like the little-known fifth musketeer. You have Athos, Porthos, Aramis, D'Artagnan, and Jeff. <laughs> right, right, right. <laughs> All right. I am so ready for anything now. <laughs> well, let's see what that is. Oh, here it is, huh? A crystal depicting an ancient Germanic, instead of a Germanic war god, increases the duration of boost mode. Oh, okay. Well, that's awesome. That's... Super fucking awesome. Oh, stone tablet detailing the gavel and incident of your top fresco of... Yep, I guess it doesn't really do anything. All right, yep, or here's our map of Belgana. Well, that is cool. Well, I certainly like the duration, the extra duration of boost mode. That's freaking cool. I don't see Ravalor in here anywhere. Those are some of my favorite books, though. Uh, the Three Musketeers, uh, Man in the Iron Mask, and of course, The County Monte Cristo. Alexander Dumas is an amazing writer. Let's see anything in here. For some reason, I feel like it might be in a barrel. We're so close to our Ravel or side quest. I know there's only one more. Okay, here's the mayor's house. God damn it, Anya, where'd you hide the last one? Not out here, right? I got that one, got that one. There wasn't anything in there. If you guys see it, point it out to me. <laughs> it's it's gotta be out it's gotta be out here somewhere. But it also should be in plain view. Just flip all the tables and turn over all the barrels. I wish I could. Yay, more boost mode to accidentally engage. Yeah, it'll be on longer when I accidentally engage it. And again, it's not the game's fault. It's this button. So it's actually, let's just show you. It's this button right here. For some reason, it is a button located right at the bottom of the controller. So it's just so easy to hit this accidentally. Um, that's crazy. How many more? There'd be four stashes. Yep. So I got three. Oh, uh, two of should be baking in the sun and two of them be indoors. Okay, so I got one of the indoor ones. There'll be no X mark in these spots. If you don't keep a sharp eye, you'll look right past them. So get moving. Okay, so two indoors, two outdoors. We got the two outdoors ones. We got one of the indoors ones. It's gotta be indoors somewhere. Must be indoors. Not in here. See it here, but that's helpful. I'm glad Anya gave us a hint for it. In here somewhere. Ah! <laughs> Not in here. Don't see it. Yeah, the church one is the more annoying one. And of course, that's the one I remember because it was so hard to get to. Hmm. Is there a door I didn't go inside of yet? These are just pickards. Let's see. I know I'm wasting time instead of going to the Elder Mountains like I should. Is it in here somewhere? Right? No, not in here. That's just a bunch of rocks. If X doesn't mark the spot, maybe an O does. Oh, you know what? That doesn't make... That doesn't jog my memory about anything, but... Keep going that well, right? It's an interesting point. It's indoors. Is 
is the mayor's house. We already gone in there. Maybe I'll go back to the inn again. Maybe I didn't look around enough in the inn. There. I don't have to do this quest, but man, we're this close. I kind of would like to do that before going to the Elder Mountains. You know, I was just, I was just denying that I would get hung up on a side quest for like 20 minutes based on principle of the thing. And here I sit, not one day later, maybe even 24 hours to the minute of mouthing off like that. And here I am looking around for a stupid piece of Ravel ore that I can't find. See it in here. There is a, that is not, that is not escaping me here. <laughs> Shit, where the fuck is it? Are we looking for better gear now? No, we're looking for, um, we're looking for, because Anya, uh, Anya decided to be a pirate and hid four uh, clumps of Ravel ore around town. And she had two of them inside and two of them outside. We got the two piles outside. We got one pile out of the church. Is there a door I didn't go into? I feel like we've gone in every every room of this thing. My goodness, you know what the funny part is? It probably is in plain sight. I feel like we've gone in every door. I'm gonna end up looking at the VOD after the fact. I'm gonna be like, yep, looked at it, right at it, right there. Looked right again at it, right there. Did it again, right there. <laughs> hey, Seraph, how are you? Good to see you again. So my, my day began with uh, uh, jumping in on Seraph stream, or I'm um, Seraph, Serum streams. I need water. <laughs> On Serum stream, and now we've completed, we've gone full circle. So it's funny, I was gonna vote uh, in the contest and I'm like, no access, huh? I wonder what's up with that. I'll have to ask her on stream or on, on Discord about it later. And I'm like, turns out I missed the contest because I didn't vote on time. And I'm like, oh, I didn't vote on time. <laughs> but it sounds like everybody had a great time with the contest. So that was super cool uh, to do. It's behind the count. Oh, it's behind a counter. Oh, did you did you see it or did you look it up? <laughs> this is the counter I can think of. I'm guessing you looked it up. Behind a counter, huh? Now that's a counter in there. So we're, we're we're playing a side quest. I enjoy these kind this this kind of game. I'd love I'd love RPGs. They ask for act, uh, exploration access, uh, and yeah, a lot is interactable. It is it is super fun. And of course, I'm I'm not being very good at it right now. I got the three out of the four super quick, and now I just can't seem to find the fourth one. But it's behind a counter, so that's helpful. That's a good hint. No counter in here. Okay, so it's not in Elena's house. Let's go back to the church. Could she have hid both of them inside the church? I don't think she would have hidden them both in here. But yeah, the really hard one was on top of this counter, uh, on top of this pillar. So that was fun for me to jump and fail to get out to check the uh, big tree. Well, it shouldn't be outside. Big tree. What's a big tree? Is there a big tree somewhere? Hmm. Big tree, huh? We're looking for a big tree. No counter in here. Maybe there's a counter in the mayor's. I don't see a counter here. There's one by that big tree in the west corner of town. Oh, we already got that one. That was one of the ones outside we got. I know which one you're talking about. That's over this way. Yeah, we got, we got, there was one right here. We picked that up already. So we're good there. Uh, yep, we got one, we got the one by the stalls. That was the other one that was outside. And she said two inside. And we got one at the church. And now we're just looking for our other one. You know, if we go, if we don't find it in a couple of minutes, it's okay. I'll just, uh, behind the counter. Oh, here's a counter. 
Here's a counter. Still don't see a Ravel Ore. See it anyway. Click around behind... Click around in the tavern. Oh, is it possibly out of sight? Well, let's just keep pressing the interact button then. Let's go back to the tavern. Leave. Yeah, if it's not in the tavern, I guess we'll just come back for this. We'll table this. That's so unfair. You can't see it. You can't see it. <laughs> How did I get that before? Oh my goodness. Well, we got it. <laughs> oh my goodness, Anya. You're Thank in the vast, Mr. Adol. Did you find all of me hidden treasure? <gasps> I know. I love Anya's voice for this whole thing. <laughs> did I sound like a real pirate? The important questions. <sighs> had to put the treasure hunt out of its misery. Thank you, Dark so Star. I appreciate you it. Keep it. You did a really good job finding it, so I'm going to give it to you as a present. I'll see you later, mister. But you got to come play again real soon, okay? Did I seriously do that just for Ravalor? Oh, I did that just for Ravalor? That's it? That wasn't worth it. That wasn't worth it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was not worth it. Oh, I can't believe we did all that just for Ravel or Oh my goodness. That's so lame. <laughs> what do you got for me? Oh my goodness. And we can't even upgrade the good one with that. I mean, we could upgrade this, but we're going to be buying a new sword pretty shortly anyway. I'd rather keep Come the again. Ravel or Wow. 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 I can't believe we just did that for Ravel or <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. Well, thank you, Darkstar. I appreciate you putting that scavenger hunt out of its misery, especially since it was not worth the effort. But that's all right. <laughs> the real treasure <laughs> are the memes we created along the way. <laughs> but now we go up to the Elder Mountains. So the actual mountain part of Mount Seco isn't so bad. The ice cave, on the other hand. Oh, the ice cave. The ice cave is not Seraph's funnest part of this, but that's okay. At least we got awesome music to keep us company while we ascend the mountain here. I don't even know if they mentioned Mount Seko in this game. I think they just call it the Elder Mountains. The real treasure was the happiness that Anya felt. You know what? And it was probably still worth it. You, did you hear how happy she was? Oh, and did I sound like a pirate? <laughs> like, oh my God, you can't even be mad. <laughs> if there was some neighborhood kid that had that much fun with the scavenger hunt, even as annoying as that last spot was, like, can't even be mad. Nope, it was worth it. Oh my. All right, so now we begin the Elder Mountains. Of course, we need the double jump to get up here. I like the mountain part of this. And we're still underpowered, but now we're gonna get tons of money. Okay, that I remember you. You're not getting me this time. I don't really remember much else. But I do remember after having to look out for those guys. Good, we stunned him. Oh yeah, you guys give me tons of XP. Oh. Still hit me? That's bogus. I need to work on my timing with that. Even though I remember it, I still clearly need to work on my timing. I need to get away from that guy before he hits us. Damn it. He got saved by the end of the map. <laughs> okay, let's take... Oh, wow, I got hurt bad on that. Okay, Seraph, don't... 
Oh no, I forgot bees. Oh right, we also have uh, the Ilburn's Ruins. We got that one area to jump into. Got him. Right. Thank you for the money. Oh, you still got me? Really? Crap. But once we get to 16, we can buy the shield. That'll be nice. Got him. Oh, now we're almost at full health again. What is that? Firm leaves. Is that what I need for the side quest? I don't think that's what I need for the side quest. Is that really what I need for the side quest already? I don't think I would get it this quick. I almost want to go back and check and see if that was it. I could swear whatever we need for that was... Well, obviously Seraph is wrong. <laughs> Or there's more to it than that. How do I get down to you? That's how I get down to you. Thank you. Okay, let's get some Ravalor. All right, now we can upgrade some of that equipment. All right, so you know what? Fine. Where's that money? Yeah, there's that money. Try that again. Now let's wing back to Redmont. Go back to the bridge. Let's find out if we already got the cure for the Pickards. But if not, let's at least upgrade our shield, or rather our armor. I can't believe we already got the side quest item for this guy yet, though. Hey, buddy. Mr. Rattle, are those really berm leaves? Okay, never mind. Can I have them? I can use them to save my pickards. That's why I brought them to you, kid. Really? Yay! Thanks, Mr. Rattle. Oh, I don't think you have enough here, though. I'm not sure how many we'll need to save them all, but it's more than this. All right. So I got to find more of them. Got it. Okay. I was going to say, that's that just seemed too easy. That seemed entirely too easy. No, no, no. I didn't want to talk to you, Gardner. No, I don't want to talk to you, Gardner. Stop talking to me. I want to talk to you, man. What do you got for me? Now we can uh, upgrade this. this. Good yes. to go. That was Come worth again. it. Now we're going to start upgrading some of that equipment. So here's an interesting fact. All East locations are based on real world places. Yes, they are. Yes, they are. Uh, now, some are a little more subtle than others, but uh, they absolutely are. Wing, go to Elder Mountains, the base. I mean, we could have just walked up there. We're not all that far away. But yeah, it's almost like an alternate history Earth. I didn't land the stun, but we still got him. I love this music, man. This is one of my favorite themes of any... Oh, you got it. This is one of my favorite themes of, like, any game, really. Although I have to admit, I think I like the Turbo Graphics version of it a little bit better. Got this on that time. <laughs> Too early. I'm eventually going to get that timing down. So we need to get to 1600. So where's Seraph in this alternate history? Yeah, right? Oops. Didn't know that B was up there. We'll get that.
Very close. He almost got me. Although this does sound more epic than um, than the original. I, I gotta give it that. Got you that time. Come on, B. Healing. Appreciate that. Do, 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 do. Yeah, that's the only issue when you have the uh, resolution set to 21.9. You can see where they stopped rendering the uh, mountain. <laughs> Oops. Okay, I gotta get this B before it gets to me. Some of them are hard to find. These little dwelling uh, worm things. Yeah, he got me a little. Ah. But you still have to worry about them as they come back. <laughs> Yay, money! We're almost there. And up, up the mountain we go. And obviously, Dogi came by this way already. Wow, I didn't kill that guy. Yeah. We still had a crap ton of hit points left. Damn. Okay. So we can't break those yet, but. But that does. Right. Drop. That's a good question. Does Seraph go to Ilburn's Ruins and jump up there real quick? Uh, I should have done that when we went back to town. Um, let's just keep going up and find our next waypoint, and then I'll go back to Ilburns. Oh, it begins. Can't fall off this, so that's good. I'm not a fan of this cave. <clears throat> <clears throat> I'm gonna need some more water in a minute. Nope. Don't think so. Now that hole, I could absolutely fall down. And I remember falling down that thing a lot. No! Money! Goodbye, money. By the time I jump down there, it's going to despawn. <laughs> Sad face. Yeah, nothing comes easy. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Really? Wow, I was having a lot more. Oh, crap. Yeah, we can't. Uh... I don't think I can damage those things, but we'll try. Yeah, it does a ridiculous amount of damage to me. I just need to avoid those for right now. Oh, look at that. Found another one of these. Money? What I really need is some health. I may need to warp out of here if I take too much damage, but if I do, then yeah, we'll go down to the Ilburn's ruins and we'll we'll get what remains down there. 
Yes, that's what I need. Health. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate that. Onward we go. This part of it's pretty straightforward. Like it's pretty much a linear line, but at some point, the um, cave becomes very, very open. <laughs> very, very, very open. And uh, yeah, that part's not very... That gets very messy. Uh, all right. I think that's actually the way I need to go, but... Come here, buddy. All right, well, we'll get some Ravalor. Wow, we got a lot of Ravalor there. That was nice. Uh, don't you have potions in East? Um, don't. I know you do in the later ones. I don't think we do in this one. So here's our inventory. So this is a illusion mirror. Um, it blocks three enemy attacks, one time use. Here's an amulet. It'll incapacitate nearby enemies. But uh, we get things that increase our maximum health. And but no, there's really no potions per se. So instead of potions, what'll happen is a lot of times you will defeat enemies and they'll drop little health rejuvenating things. And we just take advantage of them. Like it just did there uh, a little bit a little bit before. Ow. And there. I don't know how many more berm leaves I need, but we're gonna need a bunch of these and now we're back outside again you really think I wouldn't see you there no. and it still hit me because I'm a moron <laughs> but it's still dead oh yeah these things I forgot about those I completely forgot about those Yeah, I thought I'd get him. Wow, takes a while. <laughs> So clearly, what I've been doing is the better strategy. Even though every so often I will get hit by one, it's much faster to just use the sword. I would only really continue to do that if they were truly dangerous, which they're not. They'll do a little... Oh, I did not see you. You hit me twice. Lame! But we're about to level up. We'll get full health when we level. Just like that. Hey, buddy. Come in. I missed him. Missed my shot. We still like XP. There we go. Landed the stun that time. Nope. Come here. Oh, how do I get to that treasure chest? How do I get to that treasure chest? What? Oh, can't get over there. Hmm. I guess I'm gonna have to drop down from above. Can't get over there either. Hmm. Or do I... No, do I... Do I get up? Oh, I'm glad that didn't hit. Look here, you. Hey, quit hitting me. At least it gave me a uh, health item. All right, let's see. Yeah, I can't... It won't let me jump over there. Weird. I don't remember how to get to that. Hmm. 
Isn't that interesting? Yeah, I do not remember how to get to that at all. There's nothing over here. Uh, okay. So that's how I get to this one. Ravalorn here. We've got that now. Alright, so that's how we get to that one. I wonder how we get to the other one. Hmm. That's interesting. Maybe a different way? There's gotta be a way to get to that. You know, I wonder if I remember seeing that before. Now that I think about it, I'm like, you know, I remember seeing that before on my previous playthrough, and I don't think I ever figured that out. Okay. So now we save. Perfect. Now that we have a save point, because every one of those save points acts as a fast travel. Now let's go back into Ilburns. I think the depths is what we want, and we need to find that one area with the double jump now. Uh... Drop off. Drop off is what we want. This is by the place where we got the wind magic. This is where we landed. So where we're gonna go is now we're gonna head out here. Yeah. Now we make mincemeat of these guys. Oh, and look at that. We actually have enough money now for the... Uh, for that cool uh, shield that we wanted. And we needed that anyway. Bow, bow, bow. I just need to make sure I don't fall. So if we fall, well, if we fall, I'll just use the wing again. Hey, look at that. It's a place where we were farming. Hey, they die a whole lot easier now, don't they? Well, I certainly like money. What else is up here? What is up here that required the double jump? Cave. Ow. Oh, I like the treasure chest, probably Ravalor. Yeah, oh, cattle elixir. Yay, more health, more HP. So that was a nice reward. Cool. Now we go over here, we use that. Nice. All right, now we are. Uh, use our wing, go back to Redmond. Buy that shield. Now we have way sufficient money for the shield. Oh, we could probably even upgrade the, um... Probably even upgrade something, yeah. Welcome. That's Shield. Not thank you. Yes. All right, so now we just need 24,000 gold for the freaking sword. Don't be a stranger. But that's all right. Let's take a look here. Don't talk to Gardner. Thank you. What do you got for me? All right, so that's 100. And that's 100, so it really doesn't matter. Let's just upgrade this to its maximum. This one? Then. Good to go. Perfect. All right, good deal. Now our defense is even higher. Nice. We just need to work on the shield now and Come buy again. ourselves a better sword. We're getting there. We are getting there. Now, wing. Back to Elder Mountains. Let's go up to the midpoint. I think there's a boss up here. I did equip... Oh, yeah, that's important. Let's equip that. Let's not have to do that again. I think there's a boss here. So let's see what we got in store for us boss-wise. Yep, and I'm pretty sure I remember this boss. This one isn't too ridiculous. What I'd like to do is... I've been waiting for you. <laughs> yep. Our wonderful wizard friend is back. I wonder what uh, she has in store for us this time. Oh. 
I never thought you'd return from that hell. Delorne has one of the coolest character designs I think I've ever seen. That thing is just, that, that whole look is just so badass. What's more, you've communed with the spirit of Genos himself. I can no longer allow you to live. But it's not her. Ergo, you shall die in the embrace of the Furies. Amazing, actually, I'm somewhat remembering a lot of this. I don't have anything that's gonna help with this. But uh, they have weaknesses. Amazing how much of it does come back. Shot in there. There's that one. Yeah. Oh, I missed her. They have elemental weaknesses based on their color. They sound cute, but these furies are not fun. it on the first try <laughs> totally random thought that Impossible. how can you command such power <laughs> okay now i will take a look at chat because that required some concentration sorry <laughs> uh yeah it looks harder than last boss uh you know i i maybe uh yeah it can be it certainly can be um it just so i guess it just so happened as soon as it started i'm like i remember they they have elemental weaknesses based on the color and the blue one obviously there's no weakness for so you just have to attack her with the sword and uh yeah they're very fast and they're very speedy and uh, musical attack can be very tricky to avoid um so, uh, so, so yeah, I, I don't know. I mean, the last boss killed the crap out of me, and this one I beat the first try, so who knows, right? Uh, let's see, totally random thought that came to mind after uh, getting candy from the fridge. Step one, distribute bag of Twix minis to kids at Chuck E. G's. Step two, standard person experiment based on whether the kid got a left or a right Twix. <laughs> oh, my gosh. So, uh, yeah, I'm not going to get into a dissertation on, uh, on, on research ethics, but, um... But uh, I think I'll do a TLDR, uh, bad Dark Star, bad. <laughs> I think I could sum it up with that. <laughs> uh, all right, so now let's hear what Dulorn has to say about that. Perhaps, no, it can't be.
All right, so yeah, now we're going to go back and I'm going to save because that's that's a good stopping point. Uh, because after this, we're now past the midpoint of the Elder Mountains and then we have to go through a bunch of caves. And that gets very, very involved <laughs> to, uh, to say the least. But uh, yeah, I saved, right? Save. That's I was pretty sure I saved, but you know what? You get to a point of after that much progress, it's like, yeah, you know what? Um, let's just be sure. Even though I know damn well I saved it. So, yeah, it seemed like the natural evolution of the left right Twix commercials. <laughs> so let's get things started here. Uh, I'm gonna, I'm, let's wrap up. Uh, I plan to come back and do uh, more streaming action on Tuesday night. And I think that is when we are going to wrap up Battletech. We're near the end. I think the I think the priority mission for um, for uh, not 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 Coruscant. That's Star Wars. Um, Cormorant. Um, oh my goodness! I'm I'm Coromadier. <laughs> I completely blanked on the on the system's name, but yeah. We're going to be taking on uh, Cormodir, the throne world of the Oregon Reach. Good night, Nikki. Thank you for coming out. And um, and so that will be my plan for Tuesday night. Let's see if there's anybody to raid out to at this hour. Let's see who's up. Let's see who's up. Ah, oh, Kai uh, and Maxi are, are up on Overwatch. Let's raid Maxi. We haven't raided. I don't think we've ever raided Maxi, so it's time for that. Wow, he's up late. Wow. Uh, I guess he's pulling an all-nighter. So yeah, let's go invade his stream and uh, I'm going to resist the impulse to join in on his uh, Overwatch game. I still have to get good at Overwatch. Good night, Darkstar. Good night, Rob. Thank you for coming out. I had a blast with you guys. Thank you all for coming out. I do appreciate it. So let's cruise over to that while I get things started here. And uh, so yeah, that's that's kind of our channel update. And I will see I will see you all generally later. Uh, and for anybody who wants to come along with uh, along for the ride, we're going to join in on Maxi's stream and uh, hang out with him while he plays some Overwatch. He's a really good Overwatch streamer. I don't think he considers himself a really good Overwatch player, but he is like he's got superhero skills and uh, he's a cool dude. We like to hang out with him. And so, yeah, let the raid begin and I will see you all later. I hope you all have a wonderful week. And I will see you all on the next one. Ciao.